Left to right, puck comes out to the right point. Serge Savard for Montreal, moving in. Savard with a shot, tip, saved by Edwards, and a score by Montreal. Edwards made the first save, but Bob Gainey got the rebound right in the slot, and he drives it in, and only 26 seconds are gone in the game. And the Canadians take the lead, one to nothing. Edwards made a nice save on the first shot from the right point by Savard. But then as Gary went down, the puck came right in front of the crease, and Ganey flipped it in. Now Montreal all season long has been picking on Norris Division foes. They have not lost a game to a team in the Norris Division, and they are scoring at an astounding rate, averaging just under seven goals a game against Norris Division foes so far this year. Face off out at center ice, goes to Montreal. Savard gets the assist. 26 seconds, the time of the goal. 1-0. Now knocked down at center ice is Dave Schultz. Canadians fire the puck into the King zone, taken by Ab DeMarco. DeMarco's pass out on the right wing boards, taken by Kozak. He can't clear it out. Left point, Jacques Lemaire. His drive blocked by Whitey Whiting. Whiting at center ice gives it to Kozak. Kozak to the Montreal blue line, but he's taken out of the play by Larry Robinson. And the puck is picked up by the Canadians. Center ice, Steve Shutt, leading goal scorer in the league. His pass across the red line, taken away by Shelley Kanegeiser. Kings up front have Whitey Whiting at center. Kozak on the right wing. Dave Schultz on the left wing. Back on defense, Kanegeiser and Ab DeMarco. 1-0 Montreal, back come the Canadian. Jacques Lemaire to center ice. Lemaire passes ahead to Guy Lafleur, but just out of his reach. Comes into the King zone. Lafleur checked behind the King's net by Dave Schultz. Schultz off in the corner, double teamed by Lemaire and by Lafleur. Now Kanegeiser goes forward up against the boards on the far side. It's frozen against the boards in the King zone. We have 18.38 to go in the first period. Canadians already lead 1-0. And now both teams are going to change lines. And for Los Angeles, a line will be centered by Vic Vanaski. This is another new combination. Vanaski at center, right wing Marcel Dion, and left wing Gene Carr, Brown and Sargent on defense. Canadians win the draw, but the pass out to the blue line goes right between Guy Lapointe and Pierre Bouchard. Lapointe is back in uniform now. He was injured uh, when the Canadians played at Los Angeles last Saturday night. This is their first game since then. They've had five days off. Up to center ice, the Canadians pass to Peter Mahovlich into the King zone. He shoots. Head saved by the King's netminder, Gary Edwards, out to the left point to Bouchard. He gives it up here to uh, Mahovlich. Back to Bouchard. His drive tipped in front, and a loose puck shot by Mahovlich. Tipped off the glass. Off to the right side, taken by Cornoyer. Cornoyer throws it in deep, picked up by Vic Banaski of the Kings. Banaski tries to give it to Marcel Dion in the King zone. It's held against the boards and frozen in the King zone for another faceoff. 17.57 to go in the first period. It's one to nothing Montreal, and they've had some excellent chances other than the goal they've had, Rich. And they are impressively keeping it in the Kings' end of the rink so far through the first couple of minutes of play, and the Kings are going to have to get it out of there if they're going to contend with these Canadians. Face off in the Kings zone. Comes out to the blue line, taken by Bouchard, tipped away from him by Marcel Dion. Dion over to Gene Carr. Carr with two goals last night at Toronto, tries to flip it into the Montreal zone, broken up by Mahovlich. Now his pass to center ice, taken by Carr. Carr flips it back into the Montreal zone, picked up there by the Canadians. Lambert's pass to Cornwallier on the right wing is tipped into the King zone, and Gary Edwards leaves it for Gene Carr. Carr gives it to Gary Sargent. Sargent on defense along with Larry Brown. Sargent has it tipped off his stick by Lambert. In comes Cornwallier to pick up Larry Brown. Brown's pass around on the right wing to Marcel Dion in the King zone. Dion checked from behind by Bouchard. Puck comes over to Cornwallier. Cornwallier in the King zone. Puts it back behind the King's net to Lambert. Lambert looks out in front for Mahovlich. He had him there, but Vic Vanaski tips the puck away. Mahovlich gets it back again. Out to the right point. Take it there by Guy Lapointe, and his drive is caught by Gary Edwards. And Gary hangs on. Guy Lapointe likes to take that shot from the point. He is one of the most offensive-minded defensemen in the National Hockey League. He was named to the first all-star team last year in the NHL. And he's a big scorer. He's had a couple. In fact, the last two seasons have been 20-goal seasons. Unusual for a defenseman. Kings send Butch Goring out with Tommy Williams and Frank St. Marseille. Kenny Geezer and Ab DeMarco, the defenseman, face off in the Kings zone. Loose puck in the face-off circle is taken by Montreal. Murray Wilson, he's taken into the boards. Puck is picked up by Doug Risebrow. Risebrow along the boards in the right wing, flips it in deep behind the Kings net, taken by Kenny Geezer. Kenny Geezer checked there. The puck comes over, shot by Larry Robinson off the glass and up into the crowd. Robinson from the left side got a blast underway, and it was tipped up into the crowd. 16-51. Left to go here in the first period. Larry Robinson, leader in the National Hockey League in assists. And now the faceoff will be right down outside the Kings blue line. 
comes to Larry Robinson of Montreal, flips it into the King zone. It's taken by Ab DeMarco. And DeMarco sends it all the way down the ice, and this is going to be an icing call against the Los Angeles Kings. It's touched by Serge Savard. Icing called against the Kings. 16:40 to go in the first period. One to nothing in favor of Montreal. This game is coming to you from the Forum in Montreal. Toyota, if you can find a better built small car or truck than Toyota, buy it. Quality, you got it, Toyota. Larry Robinson, the man that Bob just referred to, had a brilliant Stanley Cup series against Philadelphia last year. As a defenseman, he was really controlling the play out on the ice and had a sensational series and was awarded the Most Valuable Player Award by Sport Magazine. Canadians control it. Shot by Larry Robinson. Tipped by Frank St. Marseille. Out the center ice. Taken to the red line by Montreal. Savard flips it into the King's zone. It's chased down by Ab DeMarco. He goes back behind the King's net. DeMarco's pass out. Broken up by Murray Wilson. In it goes to Murray Tremblay. Mario Tremblay. Back to the right point. Take it there. And a drive from there. Score! <laughs> Savard with a drive from the right point. Mario Tremblay may have tipped it in, but uh, perhaps not. Anyway, Montreal leads 2 to nothing. Well, this is exactly what the Kings did not want to have happen because the Canadians, once they get ahead of you and once they start putting you down, can really grind your nose into the ground. That's what they've done to teams. Steve Shutt earlier this year was saying, well, once we get four or five goals on a team this year, that's we don't let up then. That's when we really go to town. And the Very Kings don't want to get in that spot tonight. Well, it was tipped. Murray Wilson tipped it in. Savard will get the assist. And Mario Tremblay. Number 17, Murray Wilson. Assist number 18, Serge Savard. And number 14, Mario Tremblay. At 3 minutes, 40 seconds. So Savard's drive from the right point was tipped in. Murray Wilson tipped it in from Savard and Tremblay at 340. 2 to nothing, Montreal. 16.20 to go in the first period. Face off out at center ice. Comes into the King zone. Chased down by Larry Brown. Brown and Sargent on defense. Puck is taken by Montreal in the King zone. Kicked off by Ray Jean Houle to the boards on the left wing side. It's picked up by Dave Schultz. Kings have Schultz up front with Kozak and with Whitey Whiting. Schultz flips it to Whiting in the Montreal zone. Tipped off and out to center ice. Taken to the red line by Larry Brown. Brown's pass to Kozak. He didn't get it. Comes to Montreal's. Taken by Ray Jean Houle. Poole in the WHA last year is now jumped back to the Montreal Canadiens. Long pass to Bob Ganey at the King blue line. Rolls off his stick. Gary Edwards flips it up against the boards. Canadians control it again. King zone. Poole to the left point. Bouchard with a drive. Just hip wide to the left side. Rebound comes off to the boards. Right wing taken there as Dave Schultz checks Gila Point into the boards. Larry Brown takes it back behind the King's net. Passes out. Tipped away by Bob Ganey. Ganey's drive hits Brian Lewis, the referee. Don Kozak picks it up in the King zone. Now it's taken away from him by... The, by Bouchard, his drive is tipped away by the stick of Gary Edwards. Off to the boards, left wing side, picked up by Dave Schultz. Schultz out to center ice. He is checked there by Doug Jarvis. They both go down to the ice. The puck is taken by the Kings' Larry Brown. Brown to the King blue line. Brown comes across the red line, flips it into the Montreal zone, and big Ken Dryden goes out behind the nets to stop it. Leaves it for Gila Point. His pass out, stolen by Sargent. His drive hits the chest of Dryden. Dryden makes the save on it. Puck comes off to the boards. Right side, now to the right point. Montreal zone. Sargent again with a drive just wide to the left side. Rebound is going to be taken by Montreal. Rajon Houle sends it up to center ice. It's taken by Bob Ganey. Ganey flips it into the King zone. Montreal will change lines. 14.47 left to go in the first period. 2-0. Montreal leads. Sargent's pass up to center ice out of the reach of Gene Carr. Kings have Whiting, Carr, and Kozak. They're trying to get the rest of the line change on. Now Serge Savard into the King zone. Left wing pass to Steve Shutt, leading goal scorer in the league. Shutt fires it off to the right side, but Gene Carr takes it away for the Kings and clears it to center ice. Picked up there by Larry Robinson. Robinson's pass to Guy Lafleur to the King blue line, taken away by Gene Carr. Carr to Dion. Dion with Carr and Vanaski now. Dion from outside the Montreal blue line with a drive deflected into the right wing corner. Caroms off the boards. Dion has it again. His shot ticked off to the left side. Taken by Kanegeiser. He holds it in. Now Jacques Lemaire intercepts for Montreal. Lemaire over to Larry Robinson. Montreal skating from right to left as you join us on radio and television tonight, live from the Forum in Montreal. Puck is at center ice. Larry Robinson has it for the Canadians. Flips it back behind the Kings net. 13.55 to go in the first period. 2-0 in favor of Montreal. Kanegeiser's pass to the right point. Savard holds it in. He shoots from there. Glove saved by Gary Edwards, and he holds it against the side of the net. Face-off coming up in the King zone as Gary Edwards sporting his new painted mask. Gary missed all of training camp with a broken finger. 
It's been tough for him to get back into shape. Playing every week and a half or two weeks or so, it's really tough to come in uh, at that point. He's in the nets tonight as Montreal leads it 2-0. Puck comes up to Vic Vanaski. Vanaski in the king zone, tried to pass on the right wing to Marcel Dion. It comes off the boards all the way down to the king zone, or the Montreal zone, picked up by Larry Robinson. Robinson gets around Gene Carr. Nice move. Robinson to center ice. Ahead it goes to Jacques Lemaire into the king zone. Lemaire tried to give it off on the right side to Guy Lafleur, but Carr took it away. Carr knocks Lemaire down. Loose puck in the king zone is picked up by Kanegeiser. He is checked and dragged down by Lemaire. Puck is centered out in front into the slot and intercepted by the Kings' Vic Vanaski. Vanaski up on the left wing, passes to Gene Carr. Carr back on the right wing, tries to give it to Marcel Dion. Dion in front of Vanaski, shoots. Stick saved by Kenny Dryden. Good shot by Vanaski, and Dryden came up with a big save, the best that he's had to make tonight. The most difficult one he's had tonight. Puck comes into the corner, right wing side of the Montreal zone, and is frozen up against the boards. And we'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Toyota Kings Hockey Broadcast. Face off of the Montreal zone to the left of Ken Dryden. 2 0 Montreal leads. Butch Goring's line out for the Kings. Goring gives it to Sargent at the right point. Sargent's pass is tipped up in the air in the Montreal zone and taken by Pierre Bouchard. Bouchard passes off to Lambert. Lambert's pass back. Went right on the Montreal net, and Dryden had to stop it. Puck comes to the Kings in the Montreal zone. Tommy Williams in the slot. Tried to give it to Goring, but it's intercepted by Big Pete Mahovlich. We have 12 and a half minutes left to go in the first period. 2-0 Montreal leads. Puck is still in the Montreal zone, and now it's cleared to center ice, and it hops up over the boards right in front of the Kings bench and into the crowd. So we'll have a faceoff outside the King blue line. Kings home Saturday night against the Detroit Red Wings. Lakers home tomorrow night against the San Antonio Spurs. Tickets for Kings and Laker games this weekend available all day tomorrow and Saturday at the Forum box office and all Ticketron outlets in Southern California. Face off is outside the Montreal blue line. Goring with Williams and Frank St. Marseille. Pass on the left wing to Bob Ganey. It comes off his stick into the King zone. Poked away by Edwards. Way out of the face-off circle and it came out beyond the blue line. And when Bouchard brought it back in, Montreal was offside. Edwards really came out to his right that time, Rich. That was a close call, and Rogi Vashon once uh, came out earlier this year and came out a little bit uh, too late and was beaten to the puck, and it cost him a goal. So a goaltender has to have a, a good sense of judgment when he comes out of that net to try to knock it away. Face off outside the King blue line, and it goes to the Kings. They have Larry Brown and Gary Sargent back on defense. Sargent has it now in the King zone. Over to Larry Brown. Up front, Goring at center. Tommy Williams on the left wing. Frank St. Marseille in the right wing. Larry Brown drives it into the Montreal zone. It is taken by Bob Ganey. Ganey checked along the boards by... The Kings, Frank St. Marseille, the puck rolls toward the slot. Canadians clear it out to center ice. Gary Sargent trying to pass to Larry Brown, passes it all the way back in the King's zone. Brown with Rajon Houle right behind him. Houle takes it away. Houle off to the board, centers it, intercepted by Butch Goring. Kings coming back left to right. Goring across the King blue line, not of the red line. Goring, not of the Montreal blue line. Right wing pass, too far in front of Frank St. Marseille, taken by Bob Ganey. Ganey's pass takes a crazy hop off the boards, right out in front of the net, but it bounced over the stick of Butch Goring. Now comes to the right point. Gary Sargent holds it in, and he is knocked down from behind by Bob Ganey. And the Canadians clear it over the head of Sargent out to center ice, and Sargent goes to the boards. Ab DeMarco comes on. Loose puck at center ice. Sargent kind of shaken up by that check, and the Kings can't afford any more injuries. Sitting up here tonight next to us, Dave Hutchison, Neil Komodowski, Mike Murphy is not playing tonight. Lauren Stamler was injured. Bob Murdoch is back in Los Angeles. Up at center ice, the Kings have it. Frank St. Marseille to the red line to Ab DeMarco. DeMarco shoots it into the Montreal zone. 2-0, Canadians lead. 11 minutes left to go in the first period. Puck is taken by Ivan Cornoyer. He has really started to move about the last three or four games, and so is uh, Jacques Lemaire. Canadians, Whitey Whiting drives it into the, or Whiting drives it into the Canadian zone. Larry Robinson has it. Passes to Peter Mahovlich. Mahovlich is checked by Whiting. Puck is picked up by Robinson. Robinson to center ice to... The Canadians, and it is taken by Yvonne Lambert. He tries to give it to Cornway. Cornway couldn't get it. Dave Schultz takes it away for the Kings. Schultz drives it into the Montreal zone. Taken by Larry Robinson. Robinson passes up to center ice. It's intercepted by Ab DeMarco back in the King zone. DeMarco chased in by Mahavich. DeMarco passes up to the King blue line to Dave Schultz. Schultz on the left wing with Whiting at center and Kozak on the right side. Dave Schultz into the Montreal zone. Schultz tries to get down the middle. He is checked and taken out of the play by Larry Robinson. Puck comes into the corner, right wing side. Robinson and Schultz stare at each other. Now nothing happens. Puck is picked up by Peter Mahovlich. Taken away from him by Whitey Whiting. Montreal zone. Whiting's pass to the blue line. Ab DeMarco's got a good shot. He takes it. Save. Rebound. Whiting scores his first goal of the year. Whitey Whiting gets his first goal of the year on the rebound of the shot by Ab DeMarco. Whitey was cruising right into the slot. 
when Dryden made the save on DeMarco's shot, it came right out to Whiting, and Whiting drove the backhander in. 2-1 now. The Canadians lead by one. That's a big moment for Whiting. He's been kind of chomping at the bit all season long. You'll notice DeMarco take a big slap shot. Nab has that good shot, and it's happened so many times when he takes that hard slap shot, the puck will bounce straight out, and that's what happened there, and Whiting slid it into the lower right-hand corner for the, for the goal for the Kings. Number one of the year for Whitey Whiting. The time of the goal was 10.01. So Whitey finally cracks the ice, and boy, I'll bet that's a relief to him. And it's taken now by the Kings' Marcel Dion off the faceoff after the goal. The Kings have Dion with Vanaski and Carr up front. Dave Schultz gets an assist as well as have DeMarco. Puck is taken by Montreal's Guy Lafleur, the leading scorer in the National Hockey League. Lafleur now to Pierre Bouchard. Bouchard across the red line. His drive knocked down by Gary Sargent. Sargent starts to go the other way, but Bouchard can't get it. Pick up by Vanaski over to Dion. Montreal's own. He shoots. Saved by Dryden. He caught it knee high, and he hangs on. Good shot by Marcel, even though he's being checked on the right wing. 2-1. Canadians lead. 9.29 to go here in the first period. This game is coming to you from the Montreal Forum. Remember, there's Goodyear right around the corner. Goodyear wherever you are. Off the draw, the Kings have it out to the left point. Larry Brown drives it over the net with a shot. Here come the Canadians up to center ice. Pass from Lafleur to Lemaire, broken up by Larry Brown. Taken by Gene Carr, taken away from him by Lemaire. Out in front to Lafleur. Lafleur back it goes. Shot by Lapointe, broken up in front. Back center, hit the goal post. Shot by Lemaire, hit the post. Now back behind the Kings net. It's taken by Vic Vanaski. Vanaski comes around to the right side, gives it to Dion. Dion can't clear it out. Kept in by Guy Lafleur with a drive. Tipped in front. Shot by Lapointe is wide to the left side. Taken off the boards by the Kings, Marcel Dion. Left wing pass to Gene Carr. Carr chases it down with Lafleur into the Montreal zone. Backhanded pass into the slot, broken up by Bouchard, taken by Lafleur. Here comes Lafleur with a head of steam. Leading score in the NHL, into the Kings zone, taken out and knocked down by Larry Brown. That's the way to do it. Puck comes into the corner, is frozen against the boards, and Larry Brown and Gene Carr check Lafleur and knocked him down. It's 2-1, Canadians lead. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Toyota Kings hockey broadcast. Face off to the left of Gary Edwards in the Kings net. It's 2-1. Canadians lead and a pass by Rajon Uhl out to Serge Savard at the blue line. Gets by Savard. He chases it all the way back to his own zone. It's taken away by Butch Goring now at center ice. Goring flips it in the Montreal zone. Now the Canadians clear it out to center ice and it hops off the stick of Rajon Uhl up into the penalty timekeeper's area. 8.24 to go in the first period. 2-1 Canadians lead. You know, you can still get Kings and Lakers season seats for this year. Call right now, 674-6000. Off the draw, it comes over to have DeMarco. He overskates it at center ice. Bob Ganey takes it away. Ganey down the left wing side, checked by Frank St. Marseille, and it's offside at the Kings blue line. Wanted to remind everybody of that, Rich, because uh, those season seats are still available. You'll have the tickets in your hand. You'll have the seats for every game, Kings and Lakers, and a chance to purchase those same seats for the playoffs. So call that number, 674-6000. Pass up to center ice, Kanegeiser to Goring. Goring tips it into the Montreal zone, right toward the net. Stopped by Kenny Dryden. Dryden flips it off in the corner, and it's taken there, and it is not cleared out. Now the Canadians, Larry Robinson, skates it up to center ice. Robinson across the red line, ahead to Rajon Houle at the top of the slot. Houle couldn't uh, get control of it, and the Kings tip it back to center ice. Taken there by Savard. Over to Larry Robinson. Robinson to Doug Jarvis. Jarvis at the left point to Ganey. Ganey with a drive and a stick saved by Gary Edwards. Puts the rebound off on the stick of Tommy Williams. Williams to Goring in the Kings zone. 7.42 left to go in the first period. 2-1. Kings trail. Ganey and Wilson scoring for Montreal. Whitey Whiting getting his first of the year for the Kings. Long pass to Marco to Goring. Goring didn't get it, so we have an icing called against the Kings as Larry Robinson gets back to touch it. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Toyota Kings hockey broadcast. Your sports station in Los Angeles, KTLA, Channel 5. Face off after the icing comes back into the King zone to the right of Gary Edwards. 2-1 Montreal leads. This is Bob Miller along with Rich Murata from the Forum in Montreal. Out to the left point. The puck is taken there by Bill Nyrop on the ice for the first time tonight for Montreal. His pass in taken by Larry Brown. Brown ahead to Whiting in the left wing. Whiting with Schultz and Kozak up front for the Kings. Whiting's pass into the Montreal zone. Broken up by Nyrop. 
He flips it back to center ice. Larry Brown has it. Brown fires it off the boards. It rolls into the Montreal zone. This will be an icing call against the Kings again as Bill Nyrop of Notre Dame University gets back to touch it. Faceoff comes back into the King zone. Bob, we want to remind the fans that you can bring your fa whole family out and enjoy Kings and Lakers at the Forum, the Kings hockey and Lakers basketball. It's a great way to spend the night with your family, and the Kings have family nights for you every night except Saturday night. You get a dollar off for any women and all youngsters 14 years of age in the 575 and 425 seats. And for the Lakers, your family nights are every night except Friday evenings. Face off in the Kings zone to the right of Gary Edwards. Whitey Wadding draws it back to Gary Sargent. Sargent comes around the left side of the Kings net, still has it, passes up to the King blue line underneath the stick of Dave Schultz. It comes all the way down into the Montreal zone. This will be another icing call as Nyrop gets back to touch it. In the nets tonight, Gary Edwards for the Kings. 4.64 goals against average and an 0-3-0 record this year. Kenny Dryden in the nets for Montreal. 22 games he's been in this year. 2.14 goals against. He's won 16, lost three, and tied three. Canadians have only lost one game all year here on their home ice. Whitey Whiting on the draw against Doug Risebrow to the left of Gary Edwards, and the puck comes over to Larry Brown. Brown back behind the Kings net. He's checked there by Doug Risebrow. Brown along the boards, goes into the corner, checked from behind by Risebrow again, and Brown goes down on the puck and draws the whistle. We have 6.46 to go in the first period. 2-1, Canadians lead. The Kings started off really shaky in this hockey game tonight in the first uh, three or four minutes when Montreal scored their first two goals and perhaps could have had a few more. But since then, uh, the Kings have settled down pretty well. And Edwards has had really only a couple of uh, tough chances, and the Kings have gotten some offense together as well. Kings bring out a new defensive combination. Ab DeMarco and Shelley Kanegis are replacing Brown and Sargent. Face off to the right of Gary Edwards, and the Kings win it again. Ab DeMarco. DeMarco's pass almost hit the referee Brian Lewis taken away by Rise Brow Rise Brow in front to Murray Wilson but he couldn't get the pass comes over to Don Kozak for the Kings he circles the Kings net Kozak cut off by Mario Tremblay in the right wing now pass comes over to Ab DeMarco DeMarco headmans it up to the King blue line to Schultz Schultz ahead to Kozak down the middle all alone in front Kozak is tripped from behind penalty coming up a hooking penalty called against the Montreal Canadiens and the Kings will have the power play on with 6.21 to go in the first period. Serge Savard, as Kozak went down the slot, reached around and hooked him. And this is where I think, uh, you know, a lot of times uh, that penalty shot should be awarded. It's not called often enough. Kozak was going down the middle, never got a shot off, really. So the Kings will go on the power play now, and their power play really hasn't been bad. It's been better this year than it has been in a while. They're shooting at, at a 23% efficiency rate. That's how much they're scoring at so far this year in the power play. But Montreal killing penalties at 86% rate. The Goring line, Marcel Dion is at the extra forward, and Gary Sargent at the left point. The power play combination for the Kings. All right, Kings with a chance to tie it. Left point, Gary Sargent, Montreal zone over to Tommy Williams. It rolls off Williams' stick, but not out. It's kept in by Sargent with a drive. Saved by Dryden. St. Marseille almost tipped it in. That was a beautiful tipping uh, attempt by Frank St. Marseille. at his back to Dryden. Got his stick on it, deflected it slightly, but Dryden made a real good save on it. Face off again to the right of Dryden. St. Marseille was right in the slot when Sargent at the left point took the drive. On our replay on television, you can see Frank tip it, and Dryden just did make the save in time. Kings trail by only one, 2-1. Two, one. 6.13 to go in the first period, 1.52 to go in the Kings power play. Puck comes out to center ice, chased down by Marcel Dion. Dion to Sargent at the red line. Sargent over to Frank St. Marseille in the right wing. St. Marseille to Goring, Montreal zone. Goring in front, can he get a shot? Yes, he hit the goal post. Hit the right goal post with a shot. It comes out to the right point. Dion with a drive, blocked by Frank St. Marseille's skate. And the puck is picked up by Montreal, by Doug Jarvis. Flips it out to center ice, Sargent takes it away. Boy, the Kings have almost had the equalizer a couple of times on this power play against Dryden. St. Marseille, top of the slot, Sargent, left wing, Tommy Williams. Williams has been hot lately. Now it comes to Sargent, back to the right point, and off the stick of Dion out the center ice. Dion at the red line, passes off to Tommy Williams. Williams on the left wing, passes back to the King blue line to Gary Sargent. 1-10 to go in the power play, plenty of time yet. Now Dion into the Montreal zone, left wing pass broken up by Bob Ganey, and he drives it back into the King zone. One minute left to go on the power play. You don't have to score right away. You've got plenty of time to do it, and the Kings have been able to set it up here against Montreal. Now it comes to Gary Sargent in the Kings zone. He gives it to Marcel Dion on the right side. Dion is cut off by Guy Lafleur. There's Dion to the red line. Left wing pass, Tommy Williams off his stick. Caroms into the Montreal zone. Lafleur picks it up. 
Lafleur is going to clear it out. He skates it up to center ice. He's got a man breaking behind the defense. It's Lemaire, and it's just off his stick at the King Blue Line. Lemaire cruising back at the King Blue Line, just waiting for the pass from Lafleur. 29 seconds left to go in the Kings power play. Now the Canadians are not allowing the Kings to set it up in the Montreal zone. They're picking the Kings up in their own end. There's Lafleur picking up Sargent, but Sargent headmans it up to Tommy Williams. Williams, Montreal zone, shoots wide to the right side. Rebound, St. Marseille goes for it in the corner. Back to the right point, intercepted by Montreal. Guy Lafleur picks it up, right wing side. Sargent is back, Lafleur into the Kings zone. Lafleur to the point in front, he couldn't tip it in. Sargent tipped it away. Kings pick it up. Three seconds to go in the power play. Goring to the red line. Goring to the Montreal blue line. Goring left wing. Power play is over. And now it is tipped in front on a pass into the slot. Larry Robinson of Montreal tipped it right toward his own goaltender, Ken Dryden, and Dryden made the save. We'll be back in 30 seconds with the Canadians leading 2-1. Right after we pause for this word, this is the Toyota Kings hockey broadcast. Face off in the Montreal zone to the right of Ken Dryden. 2-1. Montreal leads 4-15 left to go in the first period. Kings have it. Burt Wilson out on the ice now along with Banaski and Carr. Puck is taken away by Cornoyer. Cornoyer for Montreal flips into the King's zone. Shot by Lambert is tipped up into the crowd. The puck rolled off the boards right back to Ivan Lambert coming in. And on the left wing, he got a shot, but it was tipped up into the crowd. Let's set the King's skaters for you at center, Vic Banaski. At left wing, Gene Carr. And at right wing, Bird Wilson, the defenseman for Los Angeles. Shelly Kanegeser and Ab DeMarco as the faceoff will be in the King's zone. 4.05 left to go here in the first period. Puck off the faceoff is taken by Burt Wilson. Wilson to the King Blue Line. Gives it to Gene Carr on his left side. Carr to the Montreal line. His poke checked off his stick by Bill Nyrop. Picked up at center ice by Burt Wilson. Wilson shoots it in the Montreal zone. 2-1. Canadians lead. They had a 2-0 lead before the King scored on a goal by Whitey Whiting. Puck is stolen by Vic Vanaski at center ice. Vanaski tries to get into the Montreal zone around Larry Robinson. He couldn't do it. Robinson over to Cornway in the right wing. He can't control the puck. It's taken away by Kanegeser. Now intercepted from him by Robinson in front to Cornway. Back to Peter Mahovlich. King zone. Right wing side. Mahovlich in the corner. In deep to Cornway. Back to Mahovlich. Right wing. Mahovlich in front. Shoots. Save off the glove of Gary Edwards. It just went wide to the right side. Puck is back behind the King's net. And now look out. Wilson and I think that is Yvonne Lambert. Yes. Uh, start to push and shove at each other. Vanaski is there to freeze the puck against the boards. And the Kings will send out the line that scored for them before. Whitey Whiting with Dave Schultz and Don Kozak. And the Canadians will get a new line out on the ice and they'll send off Pete Mahovlich who was centering and nearly had one there for Montreal. Mahovlich has not scored in nine games. That's a long goal scoring drought for him. Face off in the King zone is picked up by Dave Schultz. Schultz is checked. The puck comes over to Larry Brown. Brown takes it back behind the King's net, passes over to Gary Sargent. Sargent headmans it out to the blue line of the Kings. It's off the stick of uh, Lefleur. Now flipped by Steve Shutt into the King zone, chased down by, Whitey, uh, by Whiting. His pass out, stolen by Lemaire. King zone, Lemaire to shot in the middle. Couldn't get a shot. Back come the Kings, three on two. Center ice, Kozak with Schultz in the middle and Whiting on the left wing. Over to Schultz, over to Whiting. Left wing side, looking for a second goal. He shoots, saved by Dryden. The rebound was right in the slot, taken by Montreal. Now the Canadians come back three on two. Lafleur off on the right side. Back to Lafleur, and he didn't get the pass. Kozak takes it away. Kozak back to center ice for the Kings. Ahead to Dave Schultz. Schultz to the Montreal blue line. Tried to give it back to Kozak. Broken up by Savard. Taken by Kozak back again in the Montreal zone. He throws it in deep in the corner. Now it's picked up by the Canadians with 2.30 left to go in the first period. 2-1, Canadians lead. Pass tipped away at the King blue line, and now the Canadians control it. Jacques Lemaire drives it into the King zone. Gary Edwards is out to stop the puck. Comes to Gary Sargent. King skating left to right as you join us on radio and television tonight from the Forum in Montreal. Puck is taken by Guy Lafleur at center ice. Gives it back to Guy Lapointe. Now to center ice. Long pass by Savard to the King Blue Line. Broken up by Gary Sargent. Sargent's pass ahead to Butch Goring. Kings have Goring, St. Marseille, and Tommy Williams out on the ice now. Kings changing on the fly, and their bench is out of our view from where we are. Now a long pass to Bob Ganey. Comes into the King's zone. Stopped by Gary Edwards. 1.49 to go in period number one. 2-1. Montreal leads it. Serge Savard. Pass over now to Jarvis. Jarvis ahead to Ray Jean Houle. King's zone. Jules pass back to Jarvis, broken up by Tommy Williams. Kings come back. Three on two. Williams to St. Marseille. Now it's three on three. St. Marseille into the Montreal zone. Down the right side. Checked against the boards by Larry Robinson. Loose puck is taken by Tommy Williams, and it is frozen against the boards in the Montreal zone. 1.27 to go in the first period. 2-1. Canadians lead. 
Kings will be home on Saturday night to take on the Detroit Red Wings. Danny Maloney, Terry Harper, Ed Jockerman in for Detroit Saturday night. Detroit right on the heels of the Kings now. Only four points behind them. And tickets are available for that game Saturday night, all day tomorrow and Saturday at the fabulous Forum box office and all Ticketron outlets in Southern California. Lakers home tomorrow night against the San Antonio Spurs. Tickets also available for that game all day tomorrow, Forum box office and Ticketron. Kings have Vic Vanaski out with the on on the right wing and Gene Carr on the left side. Face off of the Montreal zone. Doug Jarvis will face off for Montreal against Vic Vanaski. Vanaski wins the draw to Dion. It's poked out to the blue line of Montreal and taken by the Canadians. Ray Jean Houle, right wing pass to Bob Ganey. Ganey flips it into the King zone. Have DeMarco chases it down. DeMarco's pass out to the left point. Kept in by Larry Robinson. Robinson's pass taken by Ray Jean Houle. He can't hold it. Taken away by Dion. Dion to Gene Carr. Carr of the red line picks it up. Now to the Montreal zone. Carr on the left wing. Over in front of Vanaski. Just out of his reach. He was all alone. Back to the right point. Have DeMarco. Can't hold it taken off his stick and back come the Canadians Doug Jarvis down the left wing side Jarvis into the Kings zone Jarvis going in deep still has it takes it behind the Kings net Jarvis out to the right point Bill Nyrop winds up he shoots stick saved by Gary Edwards puck goes off the rebound over the head of Ganey and taken by the Kings Marcel Dion Dion tried to hit Gene Carr Carr didn't get it comes all the way down to the Montreal zone 42 seconds to go in the first period 2-1 in favor of Montreal now at the red line at center ice, Gary Sargent ahead to Vanaski, Montreal zone, down the middle, Vanaski, left wing to Carr, he shoots, it's wide to the left side. Puck is taken against the boards, Montreal zone. Canadians have it. Rise Brown flips it out to center ice, intercepted by Larry Brown. Brown passes ahead to center ice, tipped down to the red line by Vanaski, taken away by Nyrop, his pass stolen by Gene Carr. 17 seconds to go in the first period. Carr at the King Blue line, over to Gary Sargent. 13 seconds to go in the period. Sargent shoots from center ice, right on target, glove save made by Dryden. Drops the rebound down to Bill Nyrop. Seven seconds to go in the period. 2-1 Montreal. Five seconds. Canadians drive it into the King zone. Rebound off the boards. Poked into the corner by Gary Edwards. And that is the end of the first period. At the Forum in Montreal. It's the Montreal Canadians 2. The Kings 1. The Canadians got off to a quick start in the first period. 26 seconds after the opening faceoff, Bob Ganey scored on a rebound of a Serge Savard shot. That made it one to nothing, Montreal. Then at the 340 mark, Murray Wilson scored, assisted by Savard and Tremblay. Wilson tipped in a shot by Savard. And it was 2-0 in favor of Montreal, and we hadn't played four minutes of the first period. Then Whitey Whiting finally got on the scoreboard this year with his first goal as he got a backhanded shot off a rebound from a shot by Ab DeMarco. So it was Whiting, his first of the year, from Ab DeMarco and Dave Schultz at 10.01. And that's where we stand right now at the end of the first period. Two to one. King started out very shaky. Montreal got those two quick goals. Then the Kings kind of settled down and were playing pretty good hockey for the last 15 minutes of the period. So the Kings, one goal down, two to one at the end of the first period. And our guest during the intermission will be Mike Murphy who is injured tonight for the Los Angeles Kings and not able to play and we'll be talking to uh, Mike between periods here and we'll be back at the forum in Montreal right after we pause for this word this is the Toyota Kings hockey broadcast you know there's a lot of fun in getting a group together and attending a sporting or entertainment event and the fabulous Forum Group Sales Division has lots to offer your group with special discounts for most all events, including the Lakers and Kings, Harlem Globetrotters, and Holiday on Ice. If you're interested, call 674-5020 and find out just what they have to offer for a fun get-together with your group at an exciting event at the fabulous Forum. Call 674-5020 for the Group Sales Division. Bob Miller and Rich Murata at the Forum in Montreal. Two to one, Canadians lead at the end of the first period. They have not given the shots on goal as yet, so we'll give those to you later. Standing by downstairs at the Kings bench is injured player Mike Murphy along with Rich Murata, so let's go down to Rich. We're having a problem with uh, Rich Murata down at the uh, King's bench in the interview with Mike Murphy. So 
We'll take it back up here for a few moments, and it gives us a chance to remind you fans that the Kings will be home Saturday night at the Fabulous Forum against the Detroit Red Wings. Lakers home tomorrow night against the San Antonio Spurs. So there's basketball and hockey action at the Fabulous Forum again this weekend, and tickets for both of those events are available at the Forum box office and all Ticketron outlets. And remember, you can still get Kings and Lakers season seats, so you don't have to be disappointed as many people were last Saturday night when we had 16,005 a sellout for the game against the Montreal Canadiens at the Fabulous Forum. So you can get season seats simply by calling 674-6000 and ask for our preferred season seats. Now we're all set. Let's go down to Rich Murata. Back once again at the Forum in Montreal, this is Rich Murata along with the captain of the Los Angeles Kings, Mike Murphy. The Kings trailing 2-1 to one at the end of one period to the Canadiens. And, Mike, let's take a look at that first period once again. The Kings got off, I thought, rather shaky in that period and uh, looked a bit shaky through the first two, four or five minutes, but seemed to get themselves together after that. Yes, Rich, the way things have been the last couple of weeks, it's been difficult for the to go out and to play well right off the bat. Everybody seems to be lacking confidence and doubting each other. And, uh, you know, we started bad the, that, that period. They scored two quick goals. And this building is one building you don't want to get too far behind in. It's very difficult to play here. However, I thought about the 10-minute mark of that period, we started to turn things around. The defense were standing up and the wingers were coming back. And uh, I thought things really improved for the Kings. Now, the Kings, of course, on this winless streak have had a tough time of it, Mike. Let me ask you about the confidence uh, factor right now. Are the players talking to themselves, perhaps wondering about their own ability a little bit? Uh, yes, I think so, Rich. That You know, whenever whenever you go 12 games without a win, everybody starts doubting themselves a little bit. And, uh, you know, this is the fundamental thing. Everybody's still as good as they were, you know, uh, a month ago. But it's just a lot more difficult to play. Things don't seem to be bouncing right. Things don't seem to be happening. And... Really, what it is, it's it's you know, it's a breakdown in the individuals, and uh, you know, you just have to reestablish yourself and try to gain confidence and get out there and you know, push a little bit harder, do a little bit more for the team because it's a uh, you know, it's a dry spell and it happens in hockey. And as long as you're mature enough to be able to handle it, you have to be mature enough to be able to get out of it. And uh, I think that if we could come out with a win tonight, I think that this will be a great step forward. I thought it would be a great step forward in Montreal in L.A. when we. When we had a tie going for Montre with Montreal, and then they scored late in the game, and it kind of broke everybody's confidence again. But if we can win here in this building, I think it'll really inspire a lot of the guys. Let me ask you this. You know, in basketball, many times they talk of uh, matchups, and a team will match up right against another team, and perhaps if it doesn't have as much ability, it'll still cause that team an awful lot of trouble every time they play. In hockey, the Kings seem to play very well against the Montreal Canadiens, better than most teams. Do you think the matchups here, for some reason, make that uh, the way that it turns out? Well, I, I, I think definitely that's a great aspect of it, with, uh, with Coach Pulford matching certain lines against certain lines. However, I think that uh, we have a lot of guys who used to play for Montreal, and I think that they, they try to get the other guys up a little bit more and play a little bit better. And uh, when you walk into this building or when you play those uh, Montreal Canadiens, they're just history, you know, and they just really... Uh, they really mean a big difference. It means a big difference when you play a team like that with so much great history in their past. And uh, I think that everybody wants to play a little bit better in this building and against that team because they are, you know, they're the established champions of the world. And uh, it's sure nice to beat them. Now, you're the captain of the Los Angeles Kings. You replaced Terry Harper in that spot. Uh, do you feel any extra responsibility or what do you feel your role as a captain should be? Well, Rich, I think I think the important thing is just to be one of the players. And that's you know that's what I'm. That's my role as, as an individual to be a good player and to try to do my best on the ice. And you know, as the captain, it's more or less I'm the team spokesman for the players. Uh, to the to uh, Coach Pulford and to Jake Milford, our general manager, and uh, we try to represent all views. And uh, you know, I I try to do the best I can in that aspect uh, with each of the players. I can't. I, I try not to take sides and just try to be very uh, logical and very objective about things, Rich. We should explain that Mike Murphy is not playing tonight because he has suffered a strained groin muscle. And did that uh, occur in the game at Colorado Sunday night? Yes, uh, it happened about halfway through the third, third period, Rich. I was uh, turning to get my check, and uh, uh, I guess I slipped a little bit on, on the ice. Uh, the ice gave way a little bit, and uh, my groin pulled. And uh, uh, our trainer hasn't, hasn't thought it wise to play. He thinks it's best to rest it and treat it as much as we can. And uh, 
hopefully I'll be back Saturday, and if not Saturday, hopefully Wednesday. Is this something that's bothered you in the past before, or the first time you've had this particular type of injury? Uh, this is the first time I've ever, I've ever been out with a groin injury, Rich, and uh, they're a very aggravating type of injury. Uh, you're, you're really in no mu not much pain when you're in your street clothes. However, when you try to play, you're, you put a lot of stress and strain on it, and uh, if it's not treated properly, it can bother you and linger with you for quite, a, quite some time. Neil Komodowski is also out with a similar injury, and Lauren Stamler for the Kings is having trouble with heel. His heel uh, suffered the, an injury last night against Toronto. I guess you could say really when it rains, it pours in this aspect. Things just kind of seem piling up on each other. Really, uh, Bob Pulford said the exact same thing when he, I talked to him before the game. He says, geez, when it rains, it pours. And uh, I, I, I think it's, you know, it's it j just one of those spells you go through, Rich, in your hockey season and in your hockey career. And, you know, we're going to snap out of it. We're going to be back. And it's just important right now that everybody stays together and keeps working as a team and tries to, you know, dig down a little bit deeper to get this thing back on the right track. Okay, Mike Murphy, thank you very much for being with us here between periods. We sure enjoyed talking with you. And get well soon. We want to see you back out on the ice. Thank you, Rich. Mike Murphy has been our special guest here between periods. We'll be back with more between periods comment for you in one minute. This is the Toyota Kings hockey broadcast. Heinzman into the Montreal zone. Kozak goes toward the corner. Puck is taken by Serge Chavard. His pass up on the right wing is taken there by Montreal's Ray Jean Houle. Now to Lemaire from center ice with a drive off the boards. It comes back on the right wing to Houle, but he couldn't get it. Poked away from him and out to center ice. Canadians have it again with 19.33 to go. Second period just underway. 2-1. Canadians lead it. Kings have it at center ice. Dave Schultz. Schultz trying to get around Jacques Lemaire. He does. Schultz over to Kozak. Right wing Kozak. Flips a backhander toward the net. Dryden sliding to his left. Deflects it off to the side, then drags it back behind the net. Larry Robinson for Montreal. Canadian skating left to right here in the second period. Robinson across the red line, drives it into the Kings zone. Rebound toward the nets. Poked into the corner by Gary Edwards, the Kings goaltender. It comes to Whitey Whiting. Whiting gives it to Larry Brown. Brown back behind the Kings net, up on the right side to Kozak. Kozak flips it up to center ice for the Kings, intercepted by Montreal. Robinson's pass, intercepted by Kozak. Back to Dave Schultz. Schultz to the red line. Spins around, now comes back to the red line again, crosses it, gives it over to Sargent. Sargent flips it off the boards, and an offside called against the Kings. Offside with 18.50 to go here in the second period. Two to one. In favor of Montreal is Dave Schultz, former member of the Philadelphia Flyers when they won the Stanley Cup. Number 14 for the Kings. He comes to the bench. And the Kings send out the line of Dick Vanaski at center. Marcel Dion on the right wing, left wing Gene Carr. Defensively, Kenny Geezer and Ab DeMarco. And the draw goes to Montreal, or to the Kings. It's taken by Kenny Geezer. Over to Ab DeMarco from center ice with a drive, and it's wider than that to the right side. Rebound to Carr. His drive. Blocking glove saved by Dryden. Rebound back behind the net. Taken by Cornoyer. He gives it over to Eisbrow. Back to Cornoyer to center ice. He couldn't get the pass. Taken away by Kenny Geezer. Shoots it back into the Montreal zone. Puck is taken by Guy Lapointe. LaPointe headmans it up and off the stick of Risebrow all the way down to the King zone. This will be icing, or if Cornoyer gets to it first, they wave it off. Cornoyer back behind the King's net, now out to the blue line to Guy LaPointe with a drive deflected by Gene Carr. Puck comes off to the right wing side. It's taken by LaFleur in front to Lambert. His drive blocked by Kanegeiser, kept in by Montreal. Doug Risebrow, left wing side. Risebrow in the middle of Cornoyer, back to Risebrow, knocked down by the glove of Ab DeMarco, and he plays it himself. Kings come back to center ice, three on two. DeMarco in the middle. DeMarco into the Montreal zone. Right wing pass and for Dion, but he couldn't get it to him. Dryden gives it to Dion. Dion in front to Carr. Carr right in the slot. Passes left side. Goring onto the ice. Shoots. Tip saved by Dryden, and he gathers it in as he's flat on his back. Oh, good try by the Kings that time, but big Ken Dryden made the save and then gathered it in with his arm as he was flat on his back. Watch to see if you can see Marcel Dion tip that puck. You see Carr giving it to Goring on the left side. Nice shot. Looked as though actually it was tipped out in front by one of the Canadians, perhaps. It didn't look on our uh, television replay as if uh, Dion got his stick on it. He was trying to. Anyway, Big Ken Dryden made the save, so the faceoff will be to his right again. Butch Goring out at center with Frank St. Marseille on the right side. The left wing is Tommy Williams. Larry Brown and Gary Sargent remain out on defense, and now Ken Dryden has some equipment problems. New York Islanders and Pittsburgh are tied one and one at the end of one period of play. Dennis Potvin scoring for the Islanders and Mike Corrigan. There's a familiar name scoring for the Penguins in the first period. So Steve Shutt, leading goal scorer in the league, becomes uh, kind of a tailor and an equipment man there for Ken Dryden as he fixed Dryden's suspenders. Ken Dryden, 29 years old. That's the number he wears on his back. 
6'4", 215 pounds. Now the Canadians wanted to make a line change, and referee Brian Lewis says, nope, you got your men on the ice, let's go. 2-1, Canadians lead. 17.47 to go here in the second period. Face off in the Canadian zone. Goring goes into the corner, but the puck taken by Tommy Williams, his backhander from a steep angle is saved by Dryden, and he puts his big glove on it and draws the whistle. With Tommy Williams playing with Frank St. Marseille on the other side, that means Williams moves back to left wing tonight. Last night, he was at the right side. This game is coming to you from the Forum in Montreal. It's Goodyear tires and Goodyear value for more good years in your car. From the left point, a drive by the Kings is wide to the right side. Rebound comes out to center ice. Larry Brown takes it for the Kings, flips it back into the Montreal zone. It's taken by Serge Savard. Savard with two assists in the game tonight. Back behind his own net. Drops it off for Larry Robinson. Robinson's pass to Peter Mahovlich on the left wing, taken away by Frank St. Marseille. Puck comes out to center ice. Butch Goring flips it back in, but Frank St. Marseille had not cleared the zone yet. He was uh, still in the Montreal zone, so the Kings are offside. Kings have done a good job so far in this second period of keeping the pressure on Montreal. Not a whole lot of great shots, but at least they're keeping the puck in the Montreal zone, and a lot of times that will develop into good shots for you. Face off outside the Montreal blue line. The Canadians control it. Savard in his own zone to Steve Shutt. Here's Shutt, leading goal scorer in the league. 26 goals in 26 games. He drives it into the Kings zone. Up against the boards, left wing side. Guy Lafleur has it. Left point, Larry Robinson. Robinson with a drive and a stick save by Gary Edwards. Puck taken by Butch Goring. Goring's pass to Frank St. Marseille in the right wing. He flips it up to center ice and off the boards into the Montreal zone. Kings get a line change. Whiting, Kozak, and Schultz come out onto the ice. Montreal with the puck to the King blue line. Mahovlich pokes it into the slot. It's taken away there and flipped by the Kings back to center ice. Larry Robinson over to Guy Lafleur. Lafleur to Peter Mahovlich. Mahovlich into the King zone. Right wing side. Mahovlich is going in deep. Checked by Dave Schultz. They go into the corner. Schultz comes out with a puck. Then he's knocked down behind the Kings net. To the left point. Shot by Larry Robinson. Gloved and held on to by Gary Edwards. 2-1. Canadians lead. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Toyota Kings hockey broadcast. Face off will be to the right of Gary Edwards. 2-1 in favor of Montreal. Second period. 16-24 to go in the period. Face off to the right of Edwards, and it is won by Whitey Whiting. Back to DeMarco up on the right wing of the Kings zone to Kozak. He can't find it off the boards. Now it's taken by Dave Schultz of the Kings in the Kings zone. Schultz can't clear it out. Risebrow holds it in. His pass on the right side, and now back to the right point. It is poked out to center ice by Dave Schultz, and the whistle is blown. Offside called against Montreal. 16.09 left to go in the second period. Bob Miller and Rich Murata from the Forum in Montreal. 2-1 Canadians lead. They scored one quick goal 26 seconds into the game. Puck is taken by the Kings. Shelly Kennegy's are back by the Kings net. He almost lost it right out in the slot. Now it's taken by Whitey Whiting. Whiting backhands a pass to Dave Schultz up at center ice. Schultz right in front of the Kings bench. Stick handles with it. Checked from behind by Mario Tremblay. And Tremblay flips it into the Kings zone. Taken by Kanegieser, up on the right wing to Kozak, didn't get it off the boards, comes to Lambert, Lambert in the corner, left wing side, looks in front, but his pass is intercepted by Whitey Whiting. Whiting off to the right side, checked along the boards by Risebrow, Risebrow to Tremblay, Tremblay, left point, Larry Robinson, back to the right side, Serge Savard, his drive saved by Edwards, he caught it knee high. Gary Edwards is beginning to look very sharp in the nets now for the Kings, Bob. Very quick reactions. He was a little slow to react on some of the shots in the first period, even the ones uh, that were not scoring when Montreal was really buzzing in that first period in the first four or five minutes. But he's been very quick to react. Of course, it's not easy to maintain sharpness when you play as infrequently as Gary does with Rogi Vachon playing it most of the time. But he does a good job in bouncing back for the Kings and getting sharp as the game wears on. Face off will be to the left of Gary Edwards. Jacques Lemaire will take the draw. The Kings have Vanaski out with Dion and Carr. 2-1, Montreal leads out to the blue line. Nyrop over to the shot by LaPointe, blocked in front, and the puck comes off to Vic Vanaski. Vanaski up to the King blue line. Now to center ice, left wing pass tipped by Gene Carr, right toward the Montreal net. Easy save made by Ken Dryden on his stick. He gives it over to Nyrop. Nyrop off on the left side of Pierre Bouchard. His pass up to his own blue line is taken by Guy LaPointe. Or LaPointe flips it into the King zone. It is taken by Gary Sargent. Sargent's pass out to the blue line, tipped away by Carr. Here's Carr. He is tripped. Here's a penalty against Guy LaPointe at center ice. Penalty to Guy LaPointe of Montreal. He's going to go for tripping, and the Kings will have the power play on. Gene Carr crossed the red line and uh, was tripped from behind, and Gene just wanted to make sure the referee saw it. So he put a little extra into it. 
The time of the penalty is 4.54 of the period, and the Kings will get a power play opportunity now. Montreal, so far in penalty killing this year, has been excellent. They have killed off, out of 72 penalty killing situations, they've killed off all but 10 of them. That's over 86% penalty killing efficiency, and they are third in the National Hockey League in that department. On the power play now, the Kings put out Butch Goring, Tommy Williams, and Frank St. Marseille. Marcel Dion at the right point, and Gary Sargent at the left point. Kings had some good chances on their power play in the first period. 2-1, Canadians lead at 15 minutes to go in period number two. Kings have the puck in their own end. Back behind the Kings net, it's taken by Marcel Dion. Kings with the man advantage. Dion up to Sargent. Sargent cut off by Jacques Lemaire at the Kings blue line. Now back to Sargent. Sargent to the Montreal blue line. Sargent, top of the slot. Shoot, stick saved by Dryden. Good shot by Sargent, and Dryden made the stick save on it. And now the puck is cleared out to center ice, and it hits Neil Armstrong, the linesman, and the puck is taken by Gary Sargent. Armstrong got hit right on the left side of the forehead. He's in his 20th year as a linesman in the NHL. Now Tommy Williams into the Montreal zone. Williams left wing side, passes in deep to Frank St. Marseille. He couldn't get it, but Butch Goring does. Montreal zone, back to the right point to Dion. Dion passes up along the boards all the way off in the left wing corner, taken by Tommy Williams. Williams... Gets his own pass back from Savard. Passes in deep to St. Marseille. Back to Tommy Williams. Williams, left wing side. Montreal zone. Stick handles with it. Still has it. Still has room. Takes a shot. Blocked by the stick of Nyrop. Puck is poked away over to St. Marseille. Back to Tommy Williams. Left wing side. Williams back in the slot. Goring scores. Nice play. Tommy Williams picked his spot. Finally saw Goring standing all alone right in the slot. Put it right on Butch's stick. And Goring shot right off the pass. And the game is tied 2-2. Two two. Here's a beauty, Rich. Tommy Williams over on the left-hand side. That's where he likes to take the shot, and he put it to Butch Goring right in the middle. Goring last night had an opportunity like that, and he had to set it up and then shoot, and it was blocked out in front. That time, he shot right off of the pass, put it home. The Kings are tied 2-2. Two and two. And, Bob, a strange thing happened. Here in a building that is not the Kings' home ice, there was a large round of applause when the Kings scored there, just for the nice play. That's right. They appreciate the good play. So does Bob Pulver to the Kings. Ties the game at 2-2. Two -two. Goring should be from Williams in St. Marseille. Butch Goring, assist number 17, Tom Williams, and number 11, Frank St. Marseille, at 5 minutes 59 seconds. All right, the puck back into the Montreal zone. Shot is high and wide to the right side. Steve Shutt has it for the Canadians. He gives it to Guy Lafleur. Here's Lafleur to the red line. He's going to shoot from center ice. He does, and it's caught knee high by Gary Edwards. Drops it down for Dave Schultz. Schultz circles the Kings net, almost lost it to Mahovlich. Now he did lose it, the shot to Mahovlich over to Lafleur, and he couldn't get the pass. Comes off the boards, right wing side. Lafleur still has it. Back to the right point, kept in by Gila Point. Passes into Mahovlich. Mahovlich is passed, and it is broken up. Kanegazer got knocked down, no penalty called. Here's Gila Point moving in with a drive, tipped and hit the goal post. It was tipped in the slot, and it hit the right goal post, went right along the goal line, and never went into the net. Kings pick it up. Kozak on the right wing side. His pass back to Schultz at center ice. He can't get it, but a second by Ab DeMarco. Over to Kozak. Montreal zone. And oh, he is dumped down by Steve Shutt. And the puck taken by Montreal. Pass to Lafleur to the King zone. Broken up by Kanegeser. Can he clear it out? No. Here's Steve Shutt. He shoots. Tipped in front by Lafleur. And it's tipped wide and taken by Kozak. Canadians look like they're a little mad over that Kings tying goal. There's Carr with a shot for the Kings, and it's wide to the left side. Here come the Canadians again. Down the left side, Peter Mahovlich. He is checked. Kozak and Schutt start to go at it a little bit. Now that's broken up. Guy Lafleur at the red line. Lafleur into the King zone. Offside, Steve Schutt on the left wing. Well, I'll tell you, that is excitement when you see Guy Lafleur coming into the offensive zone like that. The first round draft pick. The first pick overall in the 1971 amateur draft. Now we're seeing the shot that hit the post that got by Gary Edwards. You can see how far out of the net Gary was, and Ab DeMarco alertly came up from behind for the Kings and knocked it out of the slot. Boy, it's as if Goring's goal suddenly uh, woke up the sleeping giant because Montreal really put some pressure on. We have a 2-2 tie with 12 and a half minutes to go in the second period. Kings and the Canadians. Kings playing much better throughout most of the first period, and now here in the second, they just had a little trouble in the first four minutes of the game when they got behind 2 to nothing. Puck is back behind the Montreal net. Canadians skating left to right as you join us on our simulcast. Radio and TV out of Montreal tonight. Live coming your way. Serge Savard back in his own zone to Larry Robinson. Robinson for Montreal across the red line. Flips it into the King zone. Right wing corner taken off the boards by Gene Carr. Carr had two goals last night. He is put from behind. There's a shot. And it's wide. Puck is loose in front. Taken by Larry Brown. 
Carr was looking for another penalty, but Brian Lewis, the referee, didn't call one that time. Larry Brown passes up to center ice, taken away by Serge Savard. Savard passes ahead, and Murray Wilson flips it behind Cornwallier into the King zone. Gary Sargent has it. Sargent to Carr on the left wing. Carr to Vanaski at center ice. Vanaski's pass tipped over at the red line and taken by Jarvis. Jarvis to Murray Wilson. Wilson flips it into the King zone. Gene Carr takes it away. Carr fires it back to center ice. 11-31 left to go in the second period. 2-2 tie. Kings and the Canadians. Murray Wilson down the left wing. Runs into Burt Wilson. Knocks Burt Wilson down. But the Kings clear the puck back to the red line. Serge Savard has it. Savard for Montreal. Passes into the King zone to Murray Wilson. Off his stick taken by Burt Wilson. And he can't clear it out. It's kept in by Serge Savard at the King blue line. Savard top of the slot. Back to Lemaire with a drive. And it's just wide to the right side. It caroms off the boards. And Gary Edwards dives on it for the whistle. 2-2 tie with 11.07 to go in the second period. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Toyota Kings Hockey Broadcast. Face off in the Kings zone to the left of Gary Edwards. Jacques Lemaire on the draw, and it comes off to the boards. Right wing side in the Kings zone taken by Montreal in front. Rajon Oul with a drive and a save by Gary Edwards. Back it comes in the slot to Rajon Oul. He shoots again. It's blocked by the Kings and picked up by Goring. Goring up to center ice. He's on with Frank St. Marseille and Tommy Williams. Goring shoots it into the Montreal zone. It's caught by Dryden. Dryden flips it off the boards over to Jacques Lemaire. Lemaire's pass stolen by Goring. Montreal zone. Goring top of the slot. Tommy Williams. Williams gets a shot, but a stick save made by Dryden. Williams didn't get too much on it. Puck comes off to the center ice and taken by Shelley Kanegeiser. His, ba his pass is taken away by the Canadians. Guy Lapointe drives it back behind the King's net. Edwards didn't cut it off. It comes into the corner. Canadians uh, with another shot hit the side of the net. This one by Ganey. Puck is picked up in the King zone by Tommy Williams. His pass out to the blue line kept in by Jacques Lemaire. Lemaire flips it in deep back behind the King's net. Edwards didn't cut it off again. It comes to Ganey. Ganey flips it off to the right side and it's taken by Tommy Williams. Williams in the King zone with 10, 13 to go in the second period. 2-2 two, two tie. Long pass to Goring, but it's an offside pass against the Kings. 10-10 ten, ten to go, period number two. 2-2 two, two tie, and uh, Rich, again, will remind fans they can still get those Kings and Lakers season seats. And it's going to be a great season for still to come for the Los Angeles Kings because the Kings look as though they're putting things together once again and the number to call for those season seats 674-6000 that's 674-6000 don't get caught on the outside of the fabulous forum this year when the sold out sign is going to be put up because it will be often Lakers and Kings season seats 674-6000 there's coach Bob Pulford having a word to say to the Los Angeles Kings who have tied things up in the second period draws one by Montreal Butch Bouchard drives it back behind the Kings net taken by Gary Sargent. Sargent off in the right wing corner of the King's zone. Guy Lafleur digs it out, centers it, broken up in the slot by Larry Brown. Brown can't pass it around Mahalich. Now he does to Kozak. Kozak tries to clear it out. He does to center ice. Puck is taken there by Montreal, but intercepted now by Larry Brown. Brown back across the red line for the Kings. Drives it back behind the Montreal net. Ken Dryden cuts it off. 2-2 two -two tie, second period. 9.40 to go from Montreal. The Canadians come up to center ice. Pass off on the right wing side to Guy Lafleur. Lafleur fires it into the King zone. Gary Edwards stops it, leaves it for Gary Sargent. Sargent up the left wing side, fires it off the boards to Dave Schultz of the King blue line. Here's Schultz to the red line. Schultz to the Montreal blue line, into the Montreal zone. Schultz left wing side, still going. Schultz shoots, saved by Dryden. Rebound right out in front, taken by Guy Lapointe. Back come the Canadians, three on three. Lapointe off on the left side to Doug Jarvis. Jarvis back to Lapointe. Penalty call, tripping against the Kings. Lapointe got tripped, and I'm not sure which King did it. There are a couple of them there, and the puck was off on the left side. It's going to be Dave Schultz going. Now they're going to get him for interference rather than tripping. Number 14. Dave Schultz says LaPointe was knocked down, but it wasn't Schultz. He went over the penalty box, but I thought on our replay it shows that Larry Brown was the man that was called for interference. Couldn't hold it in. Comes all the way back to the Montreal blue line. Chased down. It, gives it to Gila Point back in the Montreal zone. Gila Point passes into Robinson. He didn't get it. Robinson has to go back behind the Montreal net. And the fans are a little upset. This power play is taking 30 seconds. The Canadians haven't scored yet, so the <laughs> fans get on him a little bit. That's pressure. Puck is taken away by Gary Sargent, and he backhands it all the way back in the Montreal zone. 123 left to go in the penalty to Larry Brown. 2 2 tie. Canadians with a man advantage, and here they come to center ice. Larry Robinson, long lead pass to the King Blue line, is broken up by Gary Sargent. Sargent checked by Rise Brow, and Kanegeiser flips it off the boards out to center ice. Chased down in the neutral zone by Mario Tremblay. 
Tremblay comes to the King blue line, checked by Gary Sargent. Huck is picked up by Guy Lapointe on the right side. Lapointe drives it into the King zone, then he takes a hard check by Gene Carr, and he slashes at Carr, and he got away with it. Huck comes up against the boards. Carr in the King zone, he's checked, but he gets the pass over to Gary Sargent. Sargent over to Dion. Dion at the King blue line, flips it past Larry Robinson. Dion chases his own pass down at center ice, almost got to it, but Larry Robinson picks it up. 45 seconds to go in the power play for Montreal. Right wing side, King zone. Flipped in deep to Rise Brow. He didn't get it. Comes over to Lambert. Ivan Lambert for Montreal. Left wing side. Looks in the middle. His pass broken up by Dion. And here he comes with Carr. Two on one. Over to Carr. Carr on a breakaway. Montreal zone. He shoots. He scores! A shorthanded goal. And the Kings have the lead. Three to two. Beautiful play by Dion. He got the puck and he looked for help and he saw a car and he said, let's go. Gave it to Carr. There's Dion over to Carr. Carr on a breakaway and he makes a beautiful shot. Right pass, Kenny Dryden, a shorthanded goal. The first one the Canadians have given up this year. And not only that, Bob, but they did not give up a shorthanded goal all last year. So let's make that, in the last two years, the first shorthanded goal against Montreal. Gene Carr gets it. Beautiful play by Dion, who really made the play, but a nice shot by Carr to get the goal for the Kings to put them out in front of Montreal, 3-2, to two at the 12-20 mark of this second period. That is the fourth shorthanded goal for the Kings, and the first one by anybody but Mike Murphy this year for Los Angeles. Now it comes all the way back into the Kings zone. The Kings are still shorthanded now for 17 more seconds. Montreal to center ice. They trail 3-2. Huck is fired into the King zone. Poked into the corner by Gary Evers. Taken by Goring. He clears it to center ice. Seven seconds to go in the King's penalty to Larry Brown. Over to Murray Wilson. He overskates it. And Goring flips it back in the Montreal zone. That'll kill the penalty. Larry Brown is out of the penalty box. And the puck is whistled down for icing against the Kings. They not only killed the penalty, they scored a goal to take the lead. A short and a goal by Gene Carr. 3-2. Kings lead. This game coming to you live from Montreal, Canada. Toyota, if you can find a better built small car or truck than Toyota, buy it. Quality, you got it. Toyota. New line on the ice for the Kings. Butch Goring along with Tommy Williams and Frank St. Marseille as the faceoff comes back into the Kings zone. And the draw is won by the Kings. Tommy Williams, the center ice with Frank St. Marseille. Williams across the red line, clips it into the Montreal zone. Dryden out to his left side. Flips it off to the boards, right wing side of the Montreal zone, taken by the roadrunner Cornoyer. His pass was center ice to Jarvis, went behind him. It's taken away by Gary Sargent. He flips it into the Montreal zone, but the Kings are offside. 6.54 to go, second period, and the Kings playing excellent hockey now, Rich. Well, the Montreal scored its two goals in the first three minutes and 40 seconds of the hockey game, and at that point, it looked really as though it might be a rout tonight because Montreal did not score in several other opportunities, but the Kings have controlled the action the rest of the way. Goring on the draw at center ice with Tommy Williams on his left wing, Frank St. Marseille on the right side. Canadians win the draw. It's taken by... Serge Savard, he drives it into the King zone, and he didn't cross the red line. We have an icing call against Montreal. Again, we're seeing this peculiar happening, Bob, of the very strong second period by the Kings. This has happened in the last uh, couple of weeks, where almost without exception, the Kings' best period every night has been the second period, and they've scored two, three, as many as five goals against Colorado Sunday night in the second period. Kings will be home Saturday night against the Detroit Red Wings. You can see this great hockey action at the fabulous Forum. Tickets available, Forum box office, and all Ticketron outlets in Southern California. Saturday night against the Detroit Red Wings. Face off to the right of Ken Dryden. In the Montreal zone, 6.45 to go. Second period, Kings lead it 3-2. They battled from a 2-0 deficit. Puck is in the Montreal zone, up against the boards, taken by Ray Jean Uhl. Uhl's pass in the right wing corner. Bob Ganey goes for it. Ganey gives it to Butch Bouchard. Bouchard back behind his own net. As you join us on our radio and television simulcast tonight, Puck comes up to the blue line of Montreal, stolen by Tommy Williams. Williams keeps it in the Montreal zone, taken away by Dryden. Dryden passes to Ganey on the left wing. Ganey's pass to center ice, broken up by Ab DeMarco. DeMarco passes off on the right side, intended for St. Marseille, broken up there by Jacques Lemaire. Lemaire shoots it into the King zone, into the corner, right wing side, and hops up on the glass, taken there, and centered out in front, intercepted by St. Marseille. Ahead to Goring to the King blue line. Goring to Tommy Williams, coming down the left wing. Williams into the Montreal zone. Williams, slap shot, wide to the left side. Rebound to the right point. Lemaire beats DeMarco to it, flips to the center ice to Ray Jean Uhl. Uhl against Kanegieser, King zone. Uhl shoots, pad save by Gary Edwards. Puck is taken by Butch Goring with 5.52 to go. Second period, 3-2. Kings lead the defending Stanley Cup champion Canadians. Puck is taken by Guy Lapointe. He headmans it into the King zone to Lafleur. Taken away by St. Marseille, and he flips it all the way down into the Montreal zone. This will be icing called against the Kings. Guy Lapointe gets back 
Icing with 5.36 to go, second period. 3-2 Kings. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Toyota Kings Hockey Broadcast. Face off to the right of Gary Edwards. King zone off the draw, right toward Edwards. Peter Mahavlich flipped it that way. Gary deflects it off to the boards. Now it comes into the left wing corner. King zone going forward is Gary Sargent along with Don Kozak. Sargent has it, tries to hold it against the boards. It's stuck out by Montreal. Back to the blue line. Serge Savard. Top of the slot. A drive. Saved by Edwards. Good blocking glove save. Rebound comes out to Dave Schultz. Schultz up to center ice with Kozak and Whitey Whiting. Pass on the right wing to Kozak. Kozak didn't get it. Whiting does. Montreal zone. Whiting back to the right point. Poked away by Shutt, taken by Kozak. His drive is wide to the left side. Rebound off the boards. Dave Schultz holds it in the Montreal zone, but it goes up on the glass and up into the crowd. 5.02 left, second period. 3-2, Canadians lead. Our guests at the end of period number two, Rich. Well, we'll have Lyle Spencer from the Los Angeles Herald Examiner following the Kings this year. And we'll also have Lauren Stamler, who is sitting out tonight's game with an injured heel. Player for the Los Angeles Kings, left winger. Face off outside the Montreal blue line. Peter Mahovlich wins the draw. Back to Larry Robinson in his own zone. Up to Mahovlich. Mahovlich at the Montreal blue line. He is checked by Vic Vanaski. Now the puck taken by Larry Robinson. Robinson's pass broken up at center ice by Ab DeMarco. King skating from right to left. DeMarco's right wing pass off the boards. Nobody there for the Kings. It's taken by Larry Robinson. Robinson's pass on the right wing to Guy Lafleur. Broken up by Gene Carr. Carr flips it to center ice. Taken by Steve Shutt. Shutt shoots it into the King's zone. Comes into the corner. Left wing side. Guy Lafleur in front to Mahovlich. Mahovlich back in front to Robinson. He shoots. Blocked by the Kings. Vic Vanaski. Nice play by Vic. Kings come back. Almost at a two on one. But it's taken away by Lafleur in front. And Mahovlich had an open net and couldn't tip it in. And Dion ices the puck. Mahovlich had an open net behind Edwards, but couldn't tip it in, and the Kings ice it. With 4.18 to go in the second period, 3-2. The Kings, with Dion starting it, almost had another two-on-one break there. We're watching it now on our simulcast on the replay as the Kings block the shot out in front. Vanaski got a stick on it. Then Mahovlich is cruising in on the right side of your screen. Now he's standing right there, and there it is, and he almost tipped it in, but not quite. Just couldn't get it. You know what the Kings have done well so far in the second period and tonight, Bob, is not giving Montreal a second shot on the net. They are clearing the rebounds out of the slot, and I can't recall Montreal getting a rebound attempt in the second period. And that's where most of your goals naturally are scored. Your goaltender will normally make that first save, and then a uh, team will put in a rebound. But tonight, the Kings are not giving the Canadiens any rebound opportunities. The Kings will make a defensive switch, and they bring out now... Larry Brown and Shelley Kanegeiser. Well, have DeMarco still out on the ice, so somebody, one of those defensemen, is going to have to get off. While Brown will skate to the bench, so DeMarco and Kanegeiser will be the defensive combination. Nick Vanaski on the faceoff with Doug Jarvis. King zone comes to Montreal's Yvonne Lambert. His shot blocked, taken by Dion. Dion's pass stolen by the point down the middle. Shot, stick save, rebound. Cornway save again by Edwards. Shot again wide to the left side by La Pointe. Oh, Edwards came up with two big saves there, and Rich, they almost got that rebound that you were just talking about. Puck is fired by Montreal. Back into the King zone. Right wing corner. Jarvis and DeMarco go for it. Jarvis jumps into DeMarco. Puck is taken against the boards now. Vanaski holds it there. Cornway tries to dig it out. Jarvis is there and the whistle blows. Ooh, Gary Edwards really made a couple of excellent saves that time on that last flurry for the Kings. Canadians trying to deflect some shots behind him. And then almost got one on a rebound. 3-2. Kings lead it. They trailed 2 to nothing. Only three minutes and 40 seconds into the game, and they battled back to take the lead here on a shorthanded goal by Gene Carr. Five new skaters out on the ice for the Kings. Butch Goring, Tommy Williams, Frank St. Marseille come out at the forwards. Larry Brown and Gary Sargent at the fence with a faceoff coming up in the King zone, and Butch Goring going into the faceoff circle for Los Angeles. Directing traffic out there a little bit. Faceoff to the left of Gary Edwards. Jarvis on the draw to the blue line. Larry Robinson with a drive deflected off to the right side. Into the corner. Cornway beats Goring to the puck. Cornway still has it. Stick handles with it. Poked away by Larry Brown over to Tommy Williams. Williams has it to the King blue line. Passes over to Gary Sargent. Sargent up to center ice. Sargent across the red line. Shoots it in the Montreal zone. Three and a half minutes to go. Second period. 3-2. The Kings lead and playing an excellent game tonight. Trying to break out of that slump. Long pass to center right to Jarvis. He flips it off the boards all the way down to the King zone. This will be icing against Montreal. 3-2, Kings lead, and we'll pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Toyota Kings Hockey Broadcast. Enjoy a behind-the-scenes look at Marathon Man. See the magic of Hollywood is the magic of people. Saturday night at 10.30 on KTLA Channel 5, Los Angeles. Face-off in the Montreal zone to the left of Ken Dryden. 
Butch Goring on with Frank St. Marseille and Tommy Williams. Jacques Lemaire in the white helmet will take the face off for Montreal. Goring wins the draw. Back to the right point. Sargent with a drive. It's wide to the left side. Rebound off the boards is going to be taken by Rajon Hull. Flips it out to center ice. Broken up by the Kings. Gary Sargent over to St. Marseille. St. Marseille flips it back into the Montreal zone. 3-0-7 to go in the second period. 3-2 kick. Here comes Serge Savard to center ice. Savard across the red line. Drives it into the Kings zone. Offside. On the left wing was Bob Ganey. Lakers, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and head coach Jerry West home at the Fabulous Forum tomorrow night against the San Antonio Spurs. Tickets are available all day tomorrow at the Forum box office and all Ticketron outlets in Southern California, which include Sears, Montgomery Ward, and the Broadway. Whitey Whiting line out on the ice for Los Angeles. Dave Schultz at left wing, Don Kozak at right wing. DeMarco and Kennegies are on defense with a face-off at center ice. Kings win the draw, but Schultz puts it around the stick of Ganey, and Ganey drives it into the Kings zone. Kanegeser beats him to it. Kanegeser up to Schultz. Schultz on the left side to Dion. Dion to center ice. Passes on the right wing to Kozak. He couldn't get the pass. It comes off the board to Larry Robinson, and we have an icing call against the Kings. 2.46 left to go here in the second period. Kings goals tonight by Whitey Whiting, his first of the year. Butch Goring got a power play goal for the Kings in the second period, and Gene Carr got the short-handed goal. Goring getting his 10th goal of the year and Gene Carr getting his 8th. And Carr had two last night, so three and two games for Gene, who has been playing much improved hockey over the last uh, week or so. Face off in the Kings zone to the left of Gary Edwards in the Nets tonight for the Kings against Ken Dryden. Whitey Whiting take the face off. Against Jacques Lemaire, and the draw goes to the Kings. Kanegeser has it. Gives it to Dave Schultz on the left wing. Schultz to center race to Kozak. Kozak at the red line. Trying to get around. He almost did get around Larry Robinson. Robinson had the puck caught up in his skates, and Kozak almost got it and would have been in free. Now the puck taken by Montreal. Serge Chavard at the Montreal blue line. Right wing pass to Jacques Lemaire. Into the Kings zone, trying to get around Dave Schultz. Lemaire down the right side. Drops it into the slot. Broken up by Kozak. Comes off of the right side to Rajon Hull. He fires it in deep. Back behind the Kings net. Bob Ganey has it. Ganey spins around. Looks out in front for Hull. Couldn't get the pass there. Broken up by Ab DeMarco. DeMarco picks it up for the Kings with 2-12 left to go in the second period. 3-2. The Kings lead it. Here's Savard to the red line. Passes off on the left side. It's taken off the boards by Larry Robinson. He gives it to Rajon Hull. Hull on the left side to Jacques Lemaire. Lemaire into Hull behind the Kings net. Rajon Hull goes into the corner. Checked there by Kanegeser. Puck is dug out by Steve Shutt. Shutt checked by Whiting. Now Lemaire goes for it. Lemaire tried to flip it out in front. He couldn't do it. Whiting takes it away. Whiting's pass out to the right point. King zone kept in by Savard. Savard spins around. Schultz passes over to Shutt. Broken up by Kanegeser and taken by Dave Schultz. And he drives it into the Montreal zone. This will be an icing call against the Kings. Larry Robinson touches it. 136 left to go here in the second period. And the Kings lead the Montreal Canadiens by a score of 3-2. I want to remind you about the Kings family nights. It's any night except Saturday. Women of any age and all youngsters, 14 years old and under, get $1 off on the 575 and the 425 seats. Laker family nights, any night except Friday. And you get $1 off on the 575 and the $5 seats to women of any age and youngsters 14 years old and under. Great opportunity for you to get out and see the Kings and the Lakers at a great bargain on the Kings and Lakers family nights. Face off in the Kings zone. Taken by Gary Sargent. Sargent has trouble with it. Steve Shutt right behind him. Sargent gives it to Dion. Dion back to Sargent. He clears it up in the air out to center ice. Kings want to get out of this period now without a tying goal. Bouncing shot comes into the Kings zone. Edwards makes a pad save on it. Puck is taken by Vanaski to Dion. Dion be passed between the legs out to center ice. Out of the reach of Vanaski. Puck is taken by Montreal. 1.13 to go in the period. Kings lead 3-2. Puck is in the King zone. Dion has it. Dion drives it off the board to hit the referee, Brian Lewis, but Vanaski picks it up. Vanaski's past the red line, taken away by Guy Lafleur. Here's Lafleur to the King blue line. Passes into the King zone to Mahovlich, but Steve Shutt, number 22, is offside on the left wing. Faceoff will come outside the King blue line. Montreal at a 2-0 lead in the first period. The Kings narrowed it to 2-1, and then the Kings have scored twice here in the second to take a 3-2 lead. 101 to go, second period. Face off outside the King Blue line. It comes all the way back to the Montreal line. Less than a minute to play in the period. Here's Guy Lafleur trying to go down the middle. He goes to the right side. He shoots. Stick saved by Gary Edwards. Puck taken by Larry Brown. Brown back behind the King's net. He's checked there. Puck comes out in front. Rolls off the stick of Lafleur. Lafleur, left wing corner. Picks it up. King's zone. Lafleur knocked down. Gets it the shot. Shot. Shoots. Saved by Edwards. Rebound poked away by Larry Brown. 
Comes out to the left point to Robinson. Over to Savard with a drive. Save made by Edwards. Edwards was knocked down from behind as Larry Brown was knocked into him. Here's a long pass. Here's Dion on a breakaway. He could... No, he can't pick it up. It'll be an offside pass. Dion's going to argue it. The way Dion was going after it, I figured that it was not an offside pass, but then he stopped, and then he argued with the uh, linesman Bob Luther. But the offside pass is called. It came from about 10 feet inside the King blue line. 24 seconds to go. Second period. 3-2. Kings lead and playing excellent hockey. Montreal, the defending Stanley Cup champion. They lost only one playoff game all last year. They annihilated the Flyers. Four games to none. Nobody figured that would happen. Pass up to center ice to the red line, taken by Frank St. Marseille, but it is whistled down. Another offside pass against the Kings. 17 seconds left to go in the second period. Bob Miller along with Rich Marotta at the fabulous for or the uh, Forum in Montreal. Face off in the King zone. Butch Goring will take the draw. And it is a loose puck in the King zone, and Tommy Williams drives it all the way down to the Montreal zone. 12 seconds to go. This will be icing against the King. Larry Robinson gets back to touch it, and he does with eight seconds to go in the second period. Remember our guest between period, Lyle Spencer, hockey writer for the Los Angeles Herald Examiner, and also Lauren Stamler, the King's young rookie that they brought up from Fort Worth, and he got his first National Hockey League goal Sunday night at Colorado. Followed that a few minutes later with his second one. So Lauren was passing out the cigars the other night in Toronto. Face off to the right of Gary Edwards. Eight seconds to go, second period. 3-2 in favor of the Kings. Face off to the right of Edwards and Goring and Jacques Lemaire will take the draw. St. Marseille and Guy Lafleur jockeying for position. Goring takes it, flips it up to center ice. Four seconds to go in the period. That should kill it. It's taken by Guy Lapointe. He takes it behind his own net. And that's the end of the second period. A good period for the Kings as they score two goals to take the lead by a score of three to two. In the second period, with Montreal leading 2-1, Butch Goring got a power play goal for the Kings, assisted by Tommy Williams and Frank St. Marseille at 5.59. Williams on the left wing passed it right into the slot to Goring, and Butch didn't hesitate. He shot right off the pass and drove it past the right, up to center ice. The assist leader in the NHL, Larry Robinson, shoots it into the King zone. Akiram's back behind the net. Robinson picks it up. Edwards didn't get it. Puck comes out in front to Mario Tremblay. Tremblay to Robinson. He didn't get it. Left point. Hey, Von Lambert keeps it in. In deep to Tremblay, back behind the King's net. Now Risebrow picks it up. Risebrow looks in the middle for Lambert. Didn't get it to him. Puck is taken away by Sargent. Off his skate. Lambert keeps it in the King's zone. Lambert shot. Saved by Edwards. Puck is taken by Tremblay. Backhander saved by Edwards, and he falls on it as Risebrow tried to tip it in. Now Schultz and Tremblay, they're going to fight or dance? They look like they're going to shove each other and then uh, turned around and decided uh, against that. 18.41 to go in the game. 3-2, Kings lead. The annual Skate with the Kings, sponsored by the Kings Court Booster Club, will be held Sunday, December 19th at the Culver City Ice Rink from 12.30 until 2.30 in the afternoon. Bring the kids, meet all of the Kings and their families. Tickets are available at the Kings Games at the Kings Court Booster Club table in the West Lobby at the Fabulous a, Forum. Families have a lot of fun at that. The Kings are out there with their families, and uh, fans can come out and skate with them. Kings win the draw of their own zone. It's flipped by Gene Carr up to center ice. Kings have Vanaski with Carr and Dion up front. DeMarco and Kennegies are back on the fence. Guy Lafleur on the ice for the Canadian Centers it in front, tried to hit it to Steve Shutt, and Shutt didn't get it. It was tipped out to center ice. Gene Carr tips it all the way to the Montreal Blue Line. Pierre Bouchard picks it up. His father played with the Canadians. Now it comes to center ice, taken there and driven by Jacques Lemaire into the King zone. Caroms off the boards to Gene Carr. Carr to Dion in the King zone. Dion passes off the boards to center ice to Vanaski. Vanaski couldn't hold it, taken away by Bouchard. Off on the right side to Guy Lapointe. Lapointe flips a bouncer toward Gary Edwards. He backhands it with a glove, gives it to Ab DeMarco. DeMarco up on the right wing to Dion. Dion hits the skate of Vanaski. It's taken by Lafleur. His drive blocked by Ab DeMarco. Off to Gene Carr. Carr taken out of the play, but the puck is picked up by Kanegieser. He flips it out to center ice where it's knocked down by Guy Lapointe. 
3-2, Kings lead. 17.45 to go in the game. Into the Kings zone, Jacques Lemaire. Left wing side, Lemaire tries to center it to Steve Shutt. Shutt being checked. Huck comes out in front, centered by Lemaire, poked away by Kanegeiser. Lafleur back behind the Kings net. He's checked by Kanegeiser. Puck comes to Gene Carr. Carr in the Kings zone, can't clear it out. Kept in by Steve Shutt. Shutt's pass, going to be intercepted in the Kings zone by Dion, but he can't clear it out. Here's Bouchard, left wing. His shot blocked by DeMarco. Bouchard picks it up again, back behind the Kings net. Bouchard in front, centered it right through the crease. Off to Dion, left wing side, and Marcel, nice play while he was being checked by Lafleur, deflected it off the boards out to center ice. Canadians pick it up and flip it back into the Kings zone. They're starting to put the pressure on now. 17.08 to go in the game. 3-2, Kings lead it. DeMarco checked by Peter Mahavich behind the Kings net. Mahavich tries to take it away. DeMarco sits down on it and draws the whistle. The Kings have to make sure they don't get caught going into a shell here tonight. We'll be right back. This is the Toyota Kings hockey broadcast. Went it as long as he could to try and draw Edwards out. Pass the center ice to Tommy Williams. He had Goring on his left, but Williams was knocked down. Puck comes back into the Kings zone. Chased down by Larry Brown. Brown behind the Kings net. Being pressured. Brown can't clear it. Larry Robinson holds it in. His pass hits Brown. Brown clears it while on his knees in the Kings zone. Now up to center ice. Boy, if Williams could have taken that pass and not been checked, he had Goring breaking on the left wing. Puck is at center ice. Robinson's pass offside. Ray Jean Uhl on the right wing. 16-27 to go in the game. 3-2 the Kings lead on goals tonight by Whitey Whiting, his first of the year. Butch Goring, his 10th on a power play. Gene Carr, his 8th on a shorthanded goal. Larry Brown is playing a very strong game on defense tonight for the Kings. He's a defensive defenseman. You don't notice Larry a lot, but he's been pretty noticeable in breaking up some line rushes by Montreal and clearing the puck out there. Good, strong game by Brown tonight. Shelley Kennegieser seems to be playing good again tonight. Bob Pulford felt that uh, Shelley played an excellent game last night at Toronto. Frank St. Marseille in the Kings zone. Flips it up to center ice. He took a check from Larry Robinson. Puck comes to the Montreal blue line. Kings have Goring, Williams, and St. Marseille up front. Sargent and Brown on defense. Canadians clear it into the Kings zone, but they'll be called for icing here. And the faceoff comes back into the Montreal zone. Kings will send out DeMarco and Kanegeiser on defense. Larry Brown up from Fort Worth. Joined the Kings last Monday morning in Denver, Colorado. He was telling some of the guys about the nice long bus rides from Fort Worth to Salt Lake City and Oklahoma City. That should make a lot of them want to stay up here with the Kings. <laughs> Face off to the left of Ken Dryden. Taken by Montreal. Larry Robinson has it. Robinson passes out to the blue line. Ab DeMarco holds it in. DeMarco down the middle. Goes to the left side. Trying to get a backhanded shot. He couldn't. He centers it, but it's intercepted and cleared out to the right boards by Montreal by Serge Savard. Now it comes to the King blue line. Broken up by the Kings by Kanegeiser. Taken at center ice by Murray Wilson. He drives it into the King zone. Back behind the Kings net. Cut off by Gary Edwards. Edwards puts it in the left wing corner. Bob Ganey is there. Kozak is there. DeMarco is there. Puck is back behind the Kings net now. Taken by Jarvis. Jarvis into the corner. Couldn't get by the referee. It was taken away by Lewis. Now to the right point. Serge Chavard with a blast. Is wide to the right side. Rebound comes off against the boards and hops up over the glass into the crowd. Bob, that shorthanded goal by the Kings' Gene Carr in the second period was the first time since the 1974-75 season that the Canadiens had given up a shorthanded goal. It was 134 straight games without a shorthanded goal if they, and the Kings score it tonight. That is the longest in the history of the National Hockey League, incidentally, that a team has not allowed a shorthanded goal, but the Kings broke that string tonight. 134 games. Boy. Well, let's see if the Kings can hang on and make that one the winner. It's 3-2 Kings, 15-21 to go in the game. Puck is driven in at Edwards, and he makes the save, and then had trouble uh, controlling it, so Gary dives on it and covers it up right in the slot. Gene Carr, who got that shorthanded goal, talks to Gary Edwards. Faceoff will be to the left of the guy they call Scoop. Gary Edwards in the Nets tonight. Only his fourth complete game of the year. Faceoff will be taken for the Kings by Vic Vanaski against Doug Jarvis. Vanaski at center, Dion and Carr on the wings. Sergeant Larry Brown on defense. Kings lead at 3-2. Faceoff, King zone. Left of Gary Edwards. Canadians win the draw. Bouchard back to the right point. Shot from there. Stick save by Edwards. Shot by Gila. Point. A good save by Edwards. Back to the left point. Bouchard with a drive. Blocked by Gary Sargent. Loose puck in front. Canadian shot by Ganey, saved, shot by Wilson, went wide to the left side. Sargent has it. He's checked by Ganey, but he gets it to Vanaski. Vanaski to Dion and comes out to center ice. Oh, Edwards came up with some good saves there. 
Now it's taken by Guy Lapointe. Back in his own zone. He passes off on the right wing side. Out to center ice. It's taken by Gary Sargent. Sargent passes over to Larry Brown. 14.45 to go in the game. 3-2 Kings. Defending Stanley Cup champions, Montreal Canadiens. More points than any team in the league right now. Guy Lapointe drives the puck into the Kings' zone. Edwards drags it back behind the net for Dion. Dion to Carr on the left wing. Carr loses it to Guy Lapointe. His backhander high over the net. Puck is taken by Gary Sargent, Kings' zone. Checked from behind by Tremblay. Sargent knocked down, but Vanaski picks it up. Headmans it up to center ice. Broken up by Bouchard. Bouchard flips it back into the Kings' zone. Gary Sargent has it for the Kings. Over on the left side to Larry Brown. Brown ahead to the King blue line to Vanaski. Vanaski across the red line into the Montreal zone. Left wing, Gene Carr shoots from there. Glove saved by Dryden, and he covers it up. Well, that's the first time in a while the Kings have been able to bring the puck into the Canadian zone, and that's what they're going to have to do a little bit. They can't go into a shell and just get caught around Gary Edwards and build a shell around him and try to just keep the puck out of the net. This game is coming to you live from the Forum in Montreal. Toyota, if you can find a better built small car or truck than Toyota, buy it. Quality, you got it, Toyota. Face off to the right of Ken Dryden, Montreal zone, off the draw, Goring goes for it, but is poked away by Mario Tremblay. Now back to Larry Robinson, he headmans it up to Tremblay to the Montreal blue line, Tremblay to center ice, fires it into the King zone in the corner, right wing side, Tremblay goes for it, and Tommy Williams goes down to the ice, comes out of the right point to Savard, over to Tremblay, right wing side, King zone, back to the right point, Savard with a drive, saved by Gary Edwards, he moved to his left and made the stick save. Now it comes to Tremblay again. He's checked by Goring in the King zone. Goring and Tremblay go for it. Risebrow comes in. He's checked by Kennedy. Their puck is dug out by Tremblay in front. Blocked by DeMarco. Shot by Robinson. Saved by Edwards. Tremblay falls over Edwards. Gary gets up. Puck comes to DeMarco. DeMarco skates it up to center ice. Nice play. Long pass to Williams out of his reach. Comes all the way down to the Montreal zone. And this will be icing against the Kings. Things are getting hot around Gary Edwards. Shots on goal in this third period for the Canadiens. Seven for the Kings, only one. They've got to try to get out of their own hand a little bit more. Gary Edwards uh, knocked the puck away on the shot from the left point. Larry Robinson got the drive, and there's Tremblay uh, falling over Gary Edwards. Face off to the right of Edwards again. 3-2 Kings. 13, 25 to go in the game and off the draw. Jacques Lemaire gets the drive but it's wide to the left side. Rebound, Lemaire picks it up himself, centers it, broken up by Gary Sargent right in the slot. Look out, Sargent checked by Lafleur, and now Lemaire loses it to Sargent. Sargent back to center ice, left wing pass intended for Whiting, and uh, Sarge put it up a little high, up on the glass, and the Kings are offside. Pittsburgh leads the New York Islanders. That's in the third period out on Long Island. Jacques Lemaire will face off at center ice for Montreal. 3-2 Kings lead it on goals tonight by Whiting, Goring, and Carr. Jacques Lemaire on the draw over to Steve Shutt. They got the heavy artillery on for Montreal right now. Lafleur, uh, the leading goal scorer in the league, shut or the leading scorer in the league, shut the leading goal scorer. Shot from center ice is wide to the right side of the Kings net by Lafleur, by Lemaire. I mean, it comes out to the King blue line, kept in by Montreal, and now poked away from Serge Savard by Whitey Whiting. Whiting chases it back to the Montreal blue line. Larry Robinson has it up to center ice to Lemaire. He is knocked down. Puck is taken by Guy Lafleur. He gets around Kozak. Lafleur into the King zone, shoots it in deep. Then Sargent knocks Lafleur down to the ice. Puck comes over to Dave Schultz, left wing side. Schultz loses it to Lemaire. Now Schultz gets it back again to the King zone. Schultz zigzags with it, passes up to center ice on the right wing to Kozak. Kozak, nice pass to Schultz, Montreal zone. Schultz down the right wing side, chasing it in deep with Savard. Schultz jumps around Savard, but Lafleur picks it up. Schultz has broken his stick. He has to come to the bench for another one. So he just goes to the bench, and Gene Carr comes out. Steve Shutt to center ice for Montreal. Shutt flips it into the King zone, wide of the net to the right side. Rebound is taken by Gene Carr. Carr passes up on the right wing to Kozak. He clears it out to center ice and into the Montreal zone. 12-03 left to go in the game. 3-2, Kings lead it. Steve Shutt for Montreal. Passes over to Guy Lafleur. Lafleur to the red line. Flips a bouncer at Edwards. He comes out to his left, gloves it. Montreal will change lines. Puck taken by Gene Carr. He doesn't go behind the net. And Carr flips a pass up to Doug Risebrow, standing on the Montreal bench. Well, you could hear that buzz of excitement every time that Guy Lafleur 
got the puck. Good uh, check by Sargent that one time when Lafleur came into the King zone. Lafleur has had kind of a funny career. When he came in, he was the first pick in the 1971 draft, and everyone expected him to come out and be a Rocket Richard right off the bat, and that's not the way it turned out. He spent three seasons getting himself together and suddenly burst from 21 goals to a 50-goal score, and he's been unstoppable ever since. Face off to the left of Gary Edwards. Dick Panaski will face off against Peter Mahovlich. And as they drop the puck, the whistle blows, and we'll have another face off again to the left of Gary Edwards. 11.47 left to go in the game. Kings leading at 3-2, and on the draw this time, loose puck in the faceoff circle, taken by Kanegies. They're up to Carr, but it is. Carr ran into the linesman. It's taken by Montreal. Mohamed shoots wide to the right side. Cornway shoots. Stick saved by Edwards. Kings can't miss. They do clear it out. LaPointe tried to hold it in, but he couldn't. Cornway skated right past Edwards, right in front of him as that shot was taken and screened Gary, and the puck almost went in. Now at center ice, it's taken by DeMarco over to Dion. Dion checked at center ice by Pierre Bouchard. Puck is picked up by Guy Lapointe. His pass to the red line, taken by Mahovlich. He drives a shot at Gary Edwards. Gary gloves it, passes up in the right wing to Dion. Dion tries to clear it out. It bounces up in the air. Loose puck now in the King zone, intercepted by DeMarco. DeMarco up on the left wing, passes to Gene Carr out of his reach, taken by Guy Lapointe. His pass broken up by Vanaski into the Montreal zone. Left wing, Vanaski fakes the shot. Nice pass to Dion. He shoots, stick saved by Dryden. Rebound, Carr shot, saved by Dryden. Two great saves by Dryden after nice passes by the Kings. Back comes Montreal. Mahovlich, King zone, left wing, going in deep. Stop, centers it, shot wide by Cornoyer. Cornoyer in front, broken up by Carr, and back come the Kings. Ahead to Dion to the King blue line. Dion to the red line, flips it into the Montreal zone. Boy, nice passing by the Kings. They got some good shots at Dryden. And Kenny came up with a save. A big one on Gene Carr, who was looking for a second goal. Canadians fire the puck into the King zone. Poked away by Gary Edwards. Kings have changed lines. Out at center ice now is Butch Goring along with St. Marseille and Tommy Williams. Canadians fired into the King zone. It's taken by Gary Sargent. Sargent over to Williams. Williams back to the King blue line on the right wing to St. Marseille. St. Marseille into the Montreal zone. Centers it. Broken up by Serge Savard in the Montreal zone. Savard goes back behind his own net. Comes around to the right side. The Kings lead it 3-2. We have 10 minutes to go in the game. Puck is taken by Larry Brown. Brown flips it back to the Montreal zone. Larry Robinson picks it up. Robinson skates it up to center ice. Long pass broken up nicely by Gary Sargent. Sargent gives it to Tommy Williams. Two on one with Goring. Williams over to Goring, but it was tipped behind him. Picked up by St. Marseille. Down the right wing. He shoots wide to the left side. Rebound off the boards to the left point. Larry Brown holds it in. Drives it back behind the Montreal net. It's cut off by Kenny Dryden. Puck is picked up there by Larry Robinson. Ooh, if the Kings could get another one here, boy, they'd give them a little breathing room. 9.33 to go in the game. 3-2. Kings lead it. Bob Ganey for Montreal. Drives it into the Kings zone. Canadians get a line change. Puck is taken by Gary Sargent. Back behind the Kings net. Sargent pass stolen by LaFleur. His long shot is wide to the left side. Oh, Sargent put a pass right on the stick of the leading scorer in the NHL. Right in the slot in the Kings zone. And LaFleur shot it wide. Jacques Lemaire flips it into the Kings zone. Left wing corner taken by Ab DeMarco. DeMarco and Kanegieser get out on defense. Puck comes out to the right point. Kept in by Savard. To Lemaire. Right wing. In front. Tried to get it to LaFleur. Shot by... Shot saved by Edwards. Steve Shutt got the shot. Edwards made the save. Puck is still in the King zone. Ab DeMarco holds it against the boards and draws the whistle. 3-2 Kings. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Toyota Kings hockey broadcast. Face off to the right of Gary Edwards, Bob Miller, and Rich Murata live from the Forum in Montreal tonight. 3-2, Kings lead it. 8.53 to go in the game now. Whiting facing off against Jacques Lemaire. The Kings have Whiting, Schultz, and Kozak up front. Kozak couldn't hold it. It's taken by Bill Nyrop in the Kings zone. His pass in deep, stolen away by Kanegieser. Now Schultz can't hold it. Kanegieser gets it back. Kings still having trouble clearing it. Now they do to center ice. Dave Schultz, left wing, into the Montreal zone. Schultz, top of the slot. Pope checked away from him and picked up by Montreal. Taken there by Steve Shutt. He flips it into the King zone. This will be icing against the Canadians. Whitey Whiting touches it. Icing against Montreal. 8.29 left to go in the game. 3-2 Kings lead. You didn't hear us earlier. There was a trade in the NHL today. Atlanta, the Flames, sent Hilliard Graves and Larry Carrier to the Vancouver Canucks for John Gould and a number two draft choice in 1977. Kings bring the Butch Goring line out onto the ice. Tommy Williams and Frank St. Marseille at the wings. Gary Sargent and Larry Brown, the defenseman, as the faceoff is in the Montreal zone. 
And the draw comes right toward Dryden. He gloves it and then flips it back behind the net to Guy Lapointe. He headmans it up to his own blue line to Jacques Lemaire. Right wing pass to Guy Lafleur into the King's zone. Taken off his stick by Larry Brown. Lafleur takes Brown hard into the boards from behind. Puck is taken in front. Shot saved by Edwards. Puck is taken by Lapointe. His drive wide to the right side. Oh, what a save by Gary Edwards at point blank range. The Kings ice the puck. But man, what a save Gary Edwards came up with at point blank range and then got another one on the tip of his glove and flipped it off and Edwards gets a round of applause from 16,024 fans at the Forum. Here come the Canadians on our replay on our television side of the simulcast. Brown is checked hard into the boards. Puck is picked up out in front, shot from there, and Edwards made the save. I think that was uh, Lemaire. Hey, Edwards has had just a remarkable night, not just on these last couple of saves, but geez, the whole game he has been unbelievable for the Kings, really sharp. Then he got the shot by LaPointe off his stick. Puck is taken now, saved by Edwards on a shot that was deflected. The shot was by Tremblay. Puck comes out to the King blue line, and Vic Vanaski flips it to center ice. Vanaski, Carr, and Dion on the ice for the Kings. Puck comes to Ab DeMarco, ahead to the red line to Dion. He tried to pass, or to uh, Vanaski, he tried to pass back to Dion, couldn't get it. Puck is poked into the King zone by Mario Trombley. He's taken out on a hip check by Kanegeezer, so he turns around and whacks Kanegeezer's ankles. Now behind the net, DeMarco gets uh, whacked from one of the Canadians. Looks like Risebrow, and nothing called. And DeMarco comes over and uh, wants to have a few words with Risebrow. First of all, on the other side of the ice, Trombley takes a whack at the ankles of Kanegeezer because Shelley took the puck away from him. Then Risebrow takes a punch behind the net at Ab DeMarco. 7.32 left to go in the game. 3-2 in favor of the Los Angeles Kings. And Gary Edwards taking a bit of an equipment repair right here. He must be a tired young man. Gary Edwards has been, has had a tremendous night for the Los Angeles Kings so far. He's already come up with 34 saves for Los Angeles. We still have about seven and a half minutes remaining in our hockey game. Gary sporting a new mask tonight, and it's brought him a little bit of new luck, at least so far. Whitey Whiting out for the Kings along with Dave Schultz and Don Kozak. Gary with the mask. He's worn it in a couple of the other games, but uh, it's got a good paint job on it. It's new this year. Peter Mahovlich on the draw, and it comes to Whitey Whiting instead, and Whiting flips it in the Montreal zone, and let's see if it does not go through the crease. It'll be icing. It didn't go through, and Larry Robinson gets back to touch it. I think the design on the mask, a lot of people have asked about it, I think it's a king's crown kind of flattened out uh, on the face mask. They bring it back into the King zone to the right of Gary Edwards. Kings and Lakers at home this weekend. Lakers tomorrow night against the San Antonio Spurs. Kings Saturday night, Detroit Red Wings. Tickets for both contests available. Forum box office all day tomorrow and Saturday and all Ticketron outlets. Face off to the right of Gary Edwards, Mahovlich against Whiting and off the draw. It comes over to Don Kozak, but he can't. Yes, he does clear it out. Up the center ice, one on one. Schultz against uh, Montreal, against Savard. Schultz goes to the left side, gets a shot high and wide over the net. Puck comes out toward the Montreal blue line. Taken now, long lead pass up the center ice. They tried to break Cornway ahead. Puck comes off the board, stopped by Gary Edwards, gives it to Larry Brown. Brown flips it up on the boards to Kozak on the right wing. Kozak checked by Mahovlich in the King zone. Loose puck, fought four. Kozak can't clear it out. Left point, Larry Robinson with a drive, caught face high by Edwards, and he hangs on for the faceoff. Well, they nearly broke Evan Cornway free on the rush up the ice. You saw him score against the Kings last Saturday night. Cornway, believe it or not, is 33 years old. That speed, when you see it, you'd never believe it. For a guy who's now playing in his 13th year, he's only five foot seven, and he's still going strong at 32 goals last year. Cornway, incidentally, set a Stanley Cup playoff record back in 1973 when he scored 15 goals in the Stanley Cup playoffs in only 17 games. That was broken by Reggie Leach last year when Leach got 19 goals for Philadelphia. They saw to the right of Gary Edwards, King zone. Jacques Lemaire against Butch Goring. Goring up front with Williams on the left wing, San Marseille on the right wing. And defensively, Kanegeezer and Ab DeMarco. Kings win the draw. DeMarco flips it up to the King blue line. Frank St. Marseille flips it up to center ice. Intercepted by Steve Shutt. Montreal has Lafleur out. Lemaire, Shutt, Robinson, and Savard. Right wing pass off the boards. Moving in. Lemaire in front. He shoots wide to the left side. And he had Guy Lafleur coming down the slot. Puck is taken by St. Marseille. His pass up to center ice. Broken by Serge Savard. Now it comes over to Ab DeMarco. DeMarco to St. Marseille. St. Marseille flips it off the boards into the Montreal zone. 
Boy, the Canadians have been wide with a couple of their shots tonight, and it's a good thing. That time, Lemaire moved in, and he's been hot lately. We have an icing call against the Kings. They'll bring it back into the Kings zone. 6.23 to go in the game. 3-2, Kings, hang on. Ah, you never have a safe lead, and certainly one goal against the Canadiens is not safe. Kings had that goal last week against Montreal. I can remember a game with Toronto playing Montreal this year when Toronto led 3-2 in the last two minutes and lost 5-3 to, to the Canadiens, who scored three goals in those final two minutes. Face off again to the right of Gary Edwards. The Kings have the goring line with St. Marseille on the right wing and Tommy Williams on the left side. Canna Geezer and DeMarco still on defense. Jacques Lemaire will take the draw. It comes to Guy Lafleur to the blue line to Savard with a drive and a blocking glove save by Gary Edwards. Puck comes into the corner, taken by Butch Goring. Goring tried to pass to St. Marseille. He didn't get it. Comes all the way down to the Montreal zone. Chased down by Serge Savard. 6-10 to go in the game. 3-2, Kings lead. They trailed in the first four minutes of the game, 2-0. Now it comes to... Guy Lafleur, Lafleur up to the Montreal blue line, now to the red line, double team there by Williams and St. Marseille. St. Marseille takes it away, has it, flips it into the Montreal zone. Stopped by Dryden, taken by Savard. Savard back behind his own net, headmans it up to Steve Shutt. Shutt with a goal a game, 26 and 26 games. Comes uh, off on the right wing, gives it to Lemaire. Lemaire moving in, down the middle goes Lafleur. Lemaire in front, tried to give it a shot, he didn't get it. Comes over to Kanegeezer, he couldn't hold it. Taken by Lemaire with a drive, almost tipped in, rebound, saved by Edwards. He beats Steve Shutt. Puck is picked up by Lafleur. Shut was cleaned out by Abdemarco. In front, Lafleur, backhander, safe. He went to the backhand, then moved it around to the right and shot it wide. Lafleur was dumped in the Kings clearing. Lafleur was going to take the backhander, moved it to the right side and shot it wide. Here's a penalty coming up. Larry Robinson picks it up. Penalty against the Kings. It's a delayed call. Now it's called tripping. I think they got Vic Finaski. I didn't see it. It was away from the puck. Look out now. Power play for Montreal with 5-11 to go in the game. 3-2 Kings lead, and Vic Finaski goes to the penalty box for tripping. On the replay on television, Shuck had it. Now it came to Robinson. Now Lemaire, his drive almost tipped in by Shuck. Shuck gets another shot, saved by Edwards. The rebound went to Lafleur. Lafleur moves in, gets it back. Now watch, he had his backhand. It went to the forehand, and uh, Edwards tipped it away. 3-2 Kings lead. This game is coming to you live from the Forum in Montreal. For hassle-free auto service and famous quality tires, Remember to go Goodyear. Face off in the King zone to the left of Gary Edwards, and here we go with 5-11 to go in the game. The Canadians with the best power play unit in the league now have that power play in effect. And the Kings will answer with Gene Carr and Marcel Dion, Larry Brown and Gary Sargent on the penalty killing unit. Mahovlich facing off for Montreal against Carr. Carr wins the draw in deep to Larry Brown, but the whistle blew just as the puck was dropped. Referee tonight is Brian Lewis in his eighth year in the league. Bob Luther, the linesman, in his fourth, and Neil Armstrong, number eight, the other linesman, in his 20th year in the NHL. Face off to the left of Gary Edwards. Again, Carr wins the draw into Larry Brown. Brown over to Dion on the right wing. Dion, can he clear it out? No. It's taken by Sargent. He can't clear it. Left point. Ray John Houle with a drive, and it's wide to the right side. Rebound to Carr, and he takes a two-hander and flips it all the way down into the Montreal zone. Last time, the Kings were shorthanded. They scored a goal. First time in 134 games that the Canadians gave up a shorthanded goal. Here's Mahovlich as the crowd roars. Big Pete flips it into the Kings zone. In deep, back behind the Kings net. Dion has it, fires it over to Carr on the left wing. Carr bats it with his hand back into the Montreal zone. Doesn't matter how you get it there, just get it down there. 123 to go in the power play for Montreal. 3-2 Kings. Canadians with a man advantage, and here they come. Across the red line, Guy Point drives it into the Kings' zone, left wing corner. Dion and Ray Jean go for it. They, neither one of them get it. Puck comes to Sargent, Sargent to Carr, and he makes a nice move and flips it off the boards back into the Montreal zone. 4-15 to go in the game. Kings lead 3-2. Here comes the roadrunner, Cornwallier. Ivan Cornwallier over to Steve Shutt. Shutt couldn't hold it to the left point. Now he picks it up, fires it in deep. Edwards out of the net, gives it to Sargent. Sargent fires it off the boards of Dion, and Dion has it go past him all the way to the Montreal zone. Dion chases it down, right wing side. He shoots, and a save by Ken Dryden. Puck is picked up by Steve Shutt. Shutt to center ice to Lafleur. Lafleur, left wing pass broken up by DeMarco, and he fires it back in the Montreal zone. 38 seconds to go in the penalty to Vic Vanaski. 3-2, Kings. 
Puck comes to Lafleur. Here he is, leading scorer, NHL, to the King Blue Line. Right wing gets around, Kanegazer in front, the shot over the net by Jacques Lemaire. Puck comes over to Goring, stolen in front, Lemaire. Backhander, save, rebound, pass, Steve shot taken by Goring. Goring will skate it out to center ice. 16 seconds to go on the penalty. Goring, nice move, still has it. Goring zigzags, hangs onto it, passes back into the King zone. 10 seconds to go, and it's driven all the way on target from inside the King zone by Ab DeMarco. Save made by Dryden. Two seconds to go on the penalty. Here comes Lemaire. King zone, he shoots, saved by Edwards. Rebound up the slot, taken by Larry Brown. Penalty's over. Out of the penalty box, Vanaski picks up the puck. Vanaski to center ice. Vanaski, Montreal blue line. Drops it off of the right wing, but the Kings run a line change, and Goring didn't get it. Less than three minutes to go in the game. Three, two, Kings lead. Puck rolls to the King blue line. Larry Brown pokes it away. Lemaire has it over to Lafleur. but Fleur flips it back behind the Kings net. Edwards cuts it off. Gary Sargent has it, checked by Lambert. Puck comes over to Vic Vanaski. His drive, out left point, kept in by Larry Robinson, poked away by Kozak. Kozak up to center ice, now back to Vanaski, across the red line, shoots it into the Montreal zone. 2.38 to go in the game, and the Kings lead at 3-2. Here come the Canadians. Center ice, taken there by Tremblay. Mario Tremblay shoots it into the Kings zone, left wing corner. Kozak goes forward, it hits the side of the net, taken by Lambert. Lambert behind the Kings net, looks out in front, his pass broken up by Larry Brown. Lambert gets it again, now Rise Brown and Schultz go for it. And it is a loose puck, and Brown falls down on it and draws the whistle. 2.16 to go. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Toyota Kings hockey broadcast. If it's happening in the concert world, it's happening at the Fabulous Forum. Peter Frampton in concert December 5th, 6th, 7th, and 9th. Tickets available. The Bee Gees, along with the Brothers Johnson, Monday, December 20th and the famous Beach Boys special New Year's Eve concert, December 31st. Tickets available, Forum Box Office, daily, including Sundays. All right, 2.16 left to go in this game. 3-2, Kings lead. Both teams at full strength. Face off to the left of Gary Edwards. Boy, exciting game here tonight. You'll see the same thing Saturday night at the Fabulous Forum. The Kings against the Detroit Red Wings. Tickets available all day tomorrow and all day Saturday at the Forum Box Office and all Ticketron outlets. Face off left of Edwards. Out for the Kings. Whiting with Schultz and Kozak. Doug Jarvis will try to take the draw for Montreal. Jarvis wins it to Cornway. His shot wide to the right side. Rebound taken by Larry Brown. Brown's pass to Kozak. Right wing side. Kozak trying to clear it. He can't. Cornway holds it in. In deep it goes. Jarvis didn't get it. Taken by Gary Sargent behind the Kings. That Sargent drives it off the boards and out to center ice. Two minutes left to go in the game. 3-2 Kings. Puck comes into the King zone and hops up over the glass into the crowd with 157 left to go in the game. Three two in favor of the Kings. Face off inside the Kings blue line. Whiting against Jarvis again. And the draw is loose in the King zone. Kozak has it, flips it off the boards, doesn't clear it out. Left point, Savard, his drive, blocked by Kozak, comes in deep to Robinson. Robinson, King zone, left wing side. Robinson, stick handles with it, left point. Larry Robinson, right wing side, tried to pass over. It's tipped in the air by Whiting, kept in by Savard in front to Jarvis, and now a shot, a save by Edwards. He beat Larry Robinson right in front. Whiting picks it up, up to center ice, flips it across the red line. Now in the Montreal zone, taken by Schultz, he couldn't hold it. Back comes Montreal, pass to Jarvis, he's not Knocked down at center ice, but an offside pass is called against Montreal. The pass came from about two feet inside the Montreal blue line, and Bob Pulford looks at the clock, 1.27 to go. Here's Edwards' save on Robinson, number 19, right in front, got the shot, and Gary got the right pad out to make the save. Boy, we got the sweaty palms up here in the booth tonight. Kings have been outshot 41 to 19 to this point in the game. But the important score is on that scoreboard. 3-2 Kings lead. Face off right of the Montreal blue line, just uh, about a foot inside. Canadians have it. 123 to go. Kings lead 3-2. Here come the Canadians. Poked away a pass by Serge Chavard. Poked away by Vic Vanaski. 115 to go with the game. Puck is taken by Guy Lafleur, back in his own zone. Here's Lafleur to his own blue line. Right wing pass to Jacques Lemaire. He drives it into the King's zone. Rebound hits the back of the King's net. Taken by Gene Carr. Carr pokes it over to Dion. Here's Dion. Headmans it up to Vanaski. He didn't get it. Slides all the way down to the Montreal zone. They wave off the icing. Fans didn't like it. They wave off the icing. 55 seconds to go in the game. Kings lead 3-2. Here comes Montreal. 
up to center ice. It's taken by Mahovlich. He is checked, but he passes off on the right wing to Lafleur in front. Saved by Gary Edwards. Rebound left side. Shot by Lemaire. Wide save. Score by Steve Shuck. bouncing around shut is number 22 it came out on the left side to Lemaire he drove it it bounced off to the right side a Canadian there missed it it came over to shut and he tipped it in behind goaltender Gary Edwards and for the second time in less than a week with less than a minute to go in the game the Canadians have tied it Steve shut Leading goal scorer in the NHL. Canadian goal scored by number 22, Steve Shutt. Assist number 20, Pete Mahomlich. And number 25, Jacques Lemaire. At 19 minutes, 20 seconds. Here come the Canadians again. Lafleur into the King zone. Has to take it back to center ice. 30 seconds ago in the game. Lafleur won the game last Saturday night with 11 seconds ago. Puck taken away by St. Marseille. Kings come back three on, th three on two. St. Marseille to Goring. Goring to Williams in front. He couldn't get the pass and went off his skate. Taken by Montreal. Lemaire to the King blue line. Lemaire right wing taken out by Larry Brown. Puck picked up by Sargent ahead. 10 seconds ago. Two on one. Williams and Goring. They could win the game. Williams moves in. Still has it. Gives it to Sargent in front. He shoots. Saved by Dryden with four seconds to go in the game. Puck comes off to the boards. It's going to end in a tie. The game is over. Oh, man. What a game. A disappointment for the Kings in that they didn't win it. But, boy, they had a shot right at the end. Tommy Williams gave it to Gary Sargent. And Sargent moving down the slot. That's Williams on the left side of your screen on our simulcast. The Sargent going right in with five seconds to go in the game, and his shot was blocked by Dryden. Rebound came up in the air, and the game ends. 3-3 tie here tonight. The Kings played well, though, and maybe they have shaken that slump, even though they're winless now in 13. Final shots on goal in the game. Montreal at 48, and the Kings had 20. So in the third period, only one goal, but it was an important one for Montreal. They tied it on a goal by Steve Shutt with only 40 seconds to go in the game. Shutt from Mahavlich and Lemaire. Serge Devard is the second star. The number three star was Gary Edwards of the Kings. Now the number one star, Jacques Lemaire of Montreal. So, the Kings now winless in 13, seven losses and six ties, but you would have to agree that they look like a much better hockey team out there tonight, minus injured players like Mike Murphy and Neil Komodowski, Dave Hutchison, Lauren Stamler, Bob Murdoch back in Los Angeles, and the Kings came within 40 seconds. В ушах хлебая музыка атаки Точнее отдай на клюшку пас Сильней удар Сильней удар И все в порядке, если только на площадке Великолепная пятерка и вратарь Суровый бой ведет ледовая дружина Мы верим мужеству отчаянных парней В хоккей играют настоящие мужчины 